All good? Yep, it's all good. Okay. It's all good in the hood. Hello, hello. Hey, everyone. Monica. Mm. I don't remember what was nine ninety nine. Oh, don't put that on. Oh, that would help. Don't be jealous. I have something to tell you guys. Where is it? What are we looking for? The remote. It was. I'm trying to put our monitor on. Oh, there it is. Can you, Alan, can you go grab that receipt out of my purse? Okay. We're good. We're running behind as usual. <laughs> yes, another surprise. Winner, 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 chicken dinner. Okay, let me get rid of this empty bag. I'm just going to dump this right here. Hi, Monica. Ta-da! Look at all of those. So you guys, I don't know if they, all of you are on my live earlier. I know Beth was and I'm Monica. But we went to Art in the Carolinas and bought so much stuff. So much. And spent so much money. So much. So much. <laughs> and died a little bit. <laughs> but I did get two new colors. So. Oh, can you put the camera in the board a little further? Um, just a smidge. Just a smidge. There. Okay. Hello from the UK. Hello, Sarah. Hello, Bright Blue. And Shelly. Don't be jelly. Would you have bought these if you were at the show? That's my next question. Yeah, Carrie, it's every year, the same weekend every year. Yep. So go look at your calendar, see what you have planned next year on, what is today, the 10th? Yeah. So go look at the weekend. I, of I believe it's November the 10th. second weekend in November every year, but they let you know ahead of time. Yes, yes, they would buy it, yes. It's tomorrow, too, from 10 to 3. Well, we have news for you guys. We do have news for you guys. So, these little tubes here at the show were $1.50 or $1.39. $1.39. Right. These size tubes here were $3.99. And these were $6.99. And the Lucas was $5.99. Okay. So, I felt really bad because you guys... Couldn't get the prices that we get. So I got an email from Jerry's not too long ago. They are running a weekend sale online. These are going to be $5.99. The little tubes will be $203. These will be $4.67. 
and the big jars, the 500 mils, will be $8.69. Free shipping on $35 worth of paint. So if you want to get your paints, you won't get them quite as cheap as we did, but you're getting free shipping. Um, and you're still getting an amazing price. Yeah, you're getting an amazing that. price. Also, the Creative Inspirations canvases are on sale and the Practica. <laughs> so the great. link is below the video. I already put it in. Um, you can click on there and go shopping while you have us on another screen. I don't care. You can listen to us on another screen while you shop. I don't care because we're just going to show you our goodies. So it's not like we're, you're going to miss anything. <laughs> but now's the time to buy them. Janelle is asking, um, is this only in North Carolina? No, you can buy these online and they'll ship them to you. The, the, the show? show? Yes, yeah. the show. The show is only in um, North Carolina, but the the sale that they put up for you guys to be able to come in and shop and get amazing prices as well is running until um, online is running until. It's just the weekend. So it'll be weekend. today and tomorrow. So tonight and tomorrow, there's a sale going on. So you guys can get very similar prices. Not as good, but they still work. It was amazing meeting you as well, Bonsai Kathy. Oh my gosh, she's so sweet, you guys. She's the you cutest show her? thing I have ever. The, I have one of the bonsai she, she gave made us. Nate and I each a little bonsai tree. That she makes. Isn't that adorable? They're so cute. They're adorable. I know exactly where I'm putting mine. Hopefully not I love luggage, it. Nate, because it'll get lost. He should just leave it here, and I'll have a pair. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so this was all the paint that I bought, which is quite a bit. Um, this is going to last me a long, long, long time. But I was very excited to get this new color, um, which is apricot. And I bought some pastel yellow. They're asking, the. Um, you said once that the jars are the best value. Yeah, I think so, because um, once maybe two spoons of this will give you the 12 ounces with the flow trial and the glue. So it'll last you longer. Um, the small tubes, I don't have any ounces. these make two bottles of paint, two 12 ounce bottles of paint, if you mix it correctly. Those are. And this makes about six, you might get seven 12 ounce bottles ounces. of paint if you mix it with my recipe. 2.5 ounces versus 8.45. Yeah, and this is 500 mil, and this is 250. So you're getting double. So right now these are 467, and the jars are 869. So you'll save a few pennies. But I wanted to share that with you guys, you know, because I'm going to be an advocate for uh, Jerry's Artorama. And I wanted to make sure that you know how much I love this paint. I would not tell you guys to go get it now if I did not love this paint. The pigment in here, um, the quality of the paint, even if you're just a brush painter and you're not a pourer, this paint is amazing. So I did get a few new colors. I hit the Liquitex booth and got these. I think they were $3.65. I didn't get... I you didn't get any? No, I didn't and see them. The Grumbachers are actually <laughs> cheaper time. online than they were at the show. I think these are $2.99 at Jerry's right now. And you can get the Prussian blue that I mix with the iridescent medium that's on sale. And I get the Thalo yellow green. And that is this one here that we love. Hello, everyone. Also, the the recipe that you she was just talking about, if you go into her videos. On the top, it'll say playlist. Hit playlist and go to the tutorials, and it's in there. I think it's like a third how, one down. Yeah, it's just how I mix my paint. How and she mixes her paint. So and you, it goes over the craft paint, the house paint, um, the tube paints, the bottle paints. So you'll know how to mix each one. You want to talk about your savings? <laughs> okay, so that wasn't all we got. Where's that 6 by 12 right there? Can you start maybe taking these away? <laughs> so that was just the paint that we bought. I was like a kid in a candy store. It was overwhelming. I kept saying to Nate, oh my God. Oh my God. <laughs> and every aisle we walked out, I was like, oh my God. <laughs> We've had several people come up to us and say, you want another cart? And I'm like, no. 
<laughs> It'll just cause more problems. It'll cause more trouble. Alan's stealing all my paint. Get these out of here, and I can show you some of the goodies that we bought that aren't paint that I'm going to play with on other videos. Okay, let me get the bottle. I did, Kathy. You did what? She said I could have had a ball with some of those sizes of canvases. Oh, yeah, those canvases were crazy. There was just so much canvas and frames and easels and oh pencils and markers and sketchbooks. And oh my goodness, everything. it was just everything. And people, everything. Oh, and, and we got um, the masking fluid. Oh, yeah, yeah. So cheap. Sorry. So I did buy these 6x12 Da Vinci Ultra Smooth Gesso Panels. Um, when I use these for acrylic pouring, I try to paint the sides with paint first. When you do a pour on these, they will bubble up in the middle. But if you wait your two weeks, three weeks for them to cure, they do go back down smooth. And these are wonderful to resin. So much better than canvas because the resin doesn't puddle in the middle. So those there, here's my receipt. <laughs> it was crazy, crazy. Um, and I think these are on sale online too. Oh my goodness, I'll never find them. Okay. I don't see them, Alan. What are you looking for? Yes. The see. six by twelves. Let me take a look. Hang on. Don't give up on me now. Also got some six by twenty fours. Yeah, we got some look at these guys. Look at the sides. Look at how pretty they are. They're so pretty. They're so nice. These here were $6.99 each. Regular price $23.25. What a savings. And then these, the edge ones. Carrie said we should have taken a truck and more money. I know. And these ones, are the edge, are the nice thick ones, and the backs are really nice. Maybe next year. And so these are 8 by 24 s did you buy any gadgets? Are those 8x20s, Al? Pardon me? 8x24. And those were $5.99 a piece. Originally $34.30. $34, what brands are those, Christina? Um, That's called The Edge. The Edge is a Jerry's brand. And the other one was... Da Vinci. Da Vinci, um, go into the birch board section on Jerry's and they're there. Yeah, you know, Shanae, the show is only in North Carolina. But we're telling you, you can get some of these prices, not quite as good as what we got, but you can get very close. Nick, you you would have gone broke. It, yeah, we, it, there I, is so much stuff <laughs> and watercolors and everything else there, Nick. You would have, I would never have gotten you out of there. No. So I'm not sure what the price of these will be online today and tomorrow. These are 8 by 20 two packs of the Practica. Those were like or Practica. $3.99. They were $3.79 for two canvases. And Originally $11.96. You know how I feel about staples on here. I always like the staples this to be beveled in and stapled this way. But you could always retack these. Sometimes when you do acrylic pouring, this likes to lift. Yeah. We'll go check that out after Teresa. Um, I didn't get any notification that you posted. So as soon as we're done, we'll go check that out. So I'm not seeing these on my receipt. So it must be I got them for free. <laughs> oh no, here they are. These were $2.99 each. And these are ultra smooth gesso panels, so you don't have to do anything to them except maybe paint your sides, so you can seal that um, edge in and pour paint on them or resin. So that was a good deal. We did get eight of those. So I my total was three hundred and fifty four dollars, but I saved seven hundred and seven dollars and eighty four cents. So it was worth it for us, but I'm not done. 
So here's the fun bag, I call it. <clears throat> I did get some brush cleaner that you um, wipe your brush in and, you know, use your water and scrub your brushes out when you're doing some embe embellishing. I did pick up these two brushes because I think these would be great for varnishing. They're so soft that you can barely feel it touch your hand, so I don't think it would leave brush marks. These are called um, Polar Flow 3-inch brush. So you might want to search that out. Polar Flow, F-L-O. So you might want to see how much. I got them for $3 at the show. Not sure how much they'll be online or if they even carry them online. Palette knives were $2 a piece no matter what one you bought. I did get these. I do the receipt. I did get these metallic markers from Windsor Newton. Oh my goodness, I probably won't find that either. Let me see if I can have it. Okay, you look for that while I go to the next one. And then I got this big pack of palette knives with some really funky stuff because you know how Alan likes his little gadgets. So these. I thought he might have fun with these funny shapes. And these were $7.99 for all of them. These Polar Flow, were, or you got them for $6. For two. Originally $48.75. Wow. Wow. So they were six dollars, but they were originally forty eight seventy five. I think Nate took the last three, or was it you that took the last three that was in the of what? And the, and these oh markers. yeah, I took the last one. This was the last one that was last at pack. the Windsor Newton booth. Yeah, they may restock for tomorrow though. We did get masking fluid pens that you can mask off an area on your canvas. I'm not sure how these work yet. I'll have to play with them. Does it peel off, Nick, when you're... Or yeah, Nick. Nate. Hi, Nick. <laughs> <laughs> We've been every, calling him Nick all day. Every time Nick's around, she calls me Nick. <laughs> so I'm going to try these out and see how they work. I'm kind of anxious you, to try that. Pretty much you you paint them on or you write them on, uh -huh. let it completely dry, then you can do your paint, paint over or you can... Um, do anything over it from watercolor to acrylic to anything. Once it's fully dry, then, then you come you back it. and you peel it and it goes back to whatever was underneath. Yeah. You guys probably saw on the video when we were at the show, the um, Grumbacher rep was like, people fight over these. So we oh. probably should have bought them all. <laughs> we probably should have. There was only three left when we left there. So we did get, did you find that? Yeah. That was the one six dollars that was originally oh, forty eight. Six dollars originally forty eight. Oh, I was talking about the Polar Flow brushes. That's what it was. Well, that was the wash mate. So this would be Windsor Newton. Metallic. Right there. Yeah, these so were twelve dollars for six. Originally twenty four. But Nate got a pack, so I wanted a pack. <laughs> we did a lot of, I want one too. Right? Yeah. I, I looked in her cart and I was like, oh, where'd you get that? I want that. Did, did and then she looked at mine. <gasps> no, I did not. Now, at the show, these big jugs of the Creative Inspirations were $10.99. Oh, Diane um, Gideon wants to go next year. So now, today today and tomorrow online, they're $13.19. I checked all these prices before we came on to make sure. Um, that they're honoring some of that deal. But $13.19 is not bad. I've seen them lower at $12.21. You have to buy four. Not four of the same color. You can get four of any color you want. I got the Cranacridone Rose and I got um, a pale yellow that we didn't have. These are some chrome markers. Um, I don't have them started yet, but they're just for outlining. So I did get some of those. This stuff was These really cool. What? For $33.25 regular price. Yeah, they never sell them for that, though. They're never that high. A lot of these prices, they're never that high on cherries, because it gives you a discount anyway. So, on these, this is the glue. It's kind of like, um, like, like a pen glue. So, you're going to put this on to embellish, and you let it dry completely. 
you know, it'll be sticky, like kind of like rubber cement. Is that what I want to say? Rubber cement. Yeah. And then you take these sheets. Now, these are not gold leaves, so they don't fall apart and crumble. But you rub it on there, and it comes. And you can start, like, in the corner so you use every little bit of this. And they gave us 12 sheets in a pack for $6.28. So I thought that was cool. So these are called, is it Geodi? G it's G GDO. I don't know how to pronounce it. I'll let you look at it right here. Gideo. Gideo. Yeah. And that is a filler. Gideo. And then this here. Oh, she spilled her fries over there. Yeah. I spilled my fries. Eddie's trying to get it. Eddie's cleaning up. <laughs> and this is the paper. They get 12 sheets. It's so like these were $6.28, and I think these were three something a piece. But I did get the gold. I think I got two packs of gold and I got one silver. Nate, you got the blue and yeah. the gold, right? The blue and the gold. Yeah. So those were my goodies from the show and from the store. I did both. And then we made a stop at Michael's. And then we made a stop at Michael's and we got some 14 by 14s and some stenciling for jewelry. Oh, yeah, it was an expensive trip for us. And we have a... But well worth it, right? Well worth every single penny. Yeah, when they, when they told me I saved $700, I was like, it was worth it. So, Nate, you want to show them what you got? That's Nate got totally different stuff. Well, some of the things are, a few of the things are the same. But he got lots of cool stuff. Alan's cleaning up behind us. He's like our little maid. <laughs> and he finally went back and watched last night's live so he could read the comments. And you're all so silly. <laughs> you're all so silly. I can think of another word. <laughs> Dirty minded, right? <laughs> um, I think it is a watercolor brush, but I'm going to use it for burnishing because it's so soft. There's Nate's goodies. Those are all mine. Okay. Bye. Just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> now he wants to go back tomorrow and spend more money. Shh. <laughs> no one ever said that. All right, I'm going to start with the I'd first I'd like to one. go back and get those canvases that were $3.99. Oh, I wish I could get canvas for $3.99 and bring it home with me. Well, it don't fit. <laughs> it don't fit in my <laughs> luggage. So... I wanted it because I don't have Soho. Never tried Soho other than working with Christina's paints. So, yes, I did bring an extra bag, and it is already full of stuff that Christina is making me take home. Making you? Making me. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, so you know about them. Know about what? What? What he's taking home. Because everybody said keep an eye on Nate. Yeah. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. She, she, she's the one that made the pile. She's like, you're taking this, and you're taking this, and you're taking this. And I was like, oh, I, I kept telling her no. I'm like, no, I can't do it. And she kept piling it up. But Whatever I am he grateful. doesn't fit in his suitcase, I'll ship to him. So I've never tried Soho, so I got this little starter kit of Soho. Both were $7.99 or $13.99. His receipt isn't as big as mine. <laughs> That's my receipt. Um, yeah, good luck finding it. <laughs> I hate how they write it on here. Soho yeah. basic set. So this one for the set was eleven ninety nine. That's the bigger set, yeah. So started off with that. I'm just gonna dump out the paint. Easier this way. That. This came from Michael's afterwards. But so they had a sale. Buy three and you can get the white. So I got the white for free. 
And I just wanted, I wanted all their metallics. So I went with the Lucas Krill metallics. Wanted Did to try all them. The brand? This one is silver bronze. I bet you paid more than gold bronze. $3.99 for those. Silver, gold, and copper. Because those in the store were a lot more expensive, especially the brown. Let's see. If you got those for $3.99, we are going back tomorrow. They're a dollar more. $4.99. Four yeah. Now we gotta go back tomorrow. So these are $4.99 for their metallics. <laughs> and it was buy three and get the um get a I should have bought one more and got another white, but they I said it would totally suck if they lost your luggage again. <laughs> I am, I'm, I'm going to go out and buy handcuffs and I'm strapping myself to my luggage. It is not happening. They are not losing this shit. <laughs> so I got the Soho. Yeah, they might not leave here, Nate. Yeah, they, here, Nate. <laughs> they might not let me take them. We're going to. <laughs> <laughs> so I I love the olive that they didn't have in the larger size, and I love the um, phalo green blue. Mm -hmm. And they those don't come in this set, so I had to buy those, and I had to get two of those. So as far as paint, that's all I got. I know not as not as impressive as Christina's. Krista artistic designs. I need you to email me at CWA live auction at yahoo.com. We still have not heard from you about your painting you won. Oh. So email us right here, um, Teresa. Right, so let me move these out of the way for you guys. Yes, you won the last one for $40. The rainbow flower. So shoot me an email. We'll get it boxed up and give you a shipping quote, and then we'll send you an invoice. So we had 12 boxes of paintings go out today. So 12 of you are going to be getting your paintings probably Tuesday. All right, so this next thing, I try to put more of my emb like embossing stuff. I went a little crazy with the embossing side of this. So I got the same thing, the, the relief with the metallics. So can two of the gold. Can and we take one sec for a minute? Yeah. Jennifer wants to know my top five to 10 colors for Soho because she can't decide which ones to buy. So I'm going to do that for her. <laughs> Can I hit show? Huh? She wants me to email her. Yeah. I'll leave it right like that. Let me just um, copy that real quick. All right. So while you're doing that real quick, I'm just going to show them the blue. So they got... The golds, but they have this blue, and this blue isn't that gorgeous. Was so pretty. Okay, are we ready? Yep. Uh, dioxazine violet, which is number three hundred. Phalo green blue, number four seventy. Prussian blue, number 370. Olive green, number 495. Um, I like the greens in better. Um... Crimson, which is 280. Where's my jars? <laughs> uh, 
Um, and of course, the gold and the silver, Jen. And I also like the red ochre and the yellow ochre. And of course, your primaries, your red, yellow, and cyan. Cyan? Cyan? Cyan. cyan. <laughs> My mouth got tied up there. Red blue eyes. From making tape? Could it be masking tape? The masking tape? I'm not sure what you're asking the about. The masking pen? The liquid mask? Are you asking it's about the pen that Christina showed earlier or? Or the masking tape that we were looking at at Jerry's maybe? Oh, and was it in the live earlier? That blue painter's tape? No, I think they're asking about the liquid one. Sorry, we're reading back, trying to figure out some of the questions. Um, Kitty, I have not tried any of those that you listed. And you guys are welcome. Um, if you get some basic colors started with the Soho, you can always mix. Kathy picked up a um, color mixing chart today at Jer at the Jerry Show, yeah. the Art and Carolina Show. So she's going to try to mix some colors of her own. They probably have that on their website as well. It's nice because you can shop while you're listening to us. <laughs> I wish I had my link so that I would get credit for all of this. <laughs> right. <laughs> uh, you did not meet Mark, Mike. I did not meet Mike. He was there Friday. And I'm sure they were busy as all get out Friday. So he was probably exhausted. But he was going to be there later today. And I, I didn't want to wait around for him. You did talk to him. But I did talk to him. On, I called his cell and talked to him. So what I'm pulling out right now are Winsor & Newton metallic markers and Winsor & Newton neon markers, which I'm excited to try. These were the sets at what were six dollars? No, they're twelve. Or twelve dollars each. Liquitex paint markers. I love the gold, and then I saw these that they have these fun neon colors. You didn't tell them about the gold marker. Which one? The one that I bought for you. From oh, kid. yeah. So when I arrived, Christina actually got me a gift, and she got me because it's hard to find the gold Liquitex markers that I use in my videos. We're actually uploading a video right now as we speak. So you'll have something to watch after the live. After they shop at Jerry's. After they shop at Jerry's, yeah. everything. We'll have a video on my channel. But I actually used the gold marker that Christina got me in that video. So you'll get to see the gold Liquitex being used. Then more gold Liquitex. Um, if you watch the live earlier at the store... I bought the empty pen. The empty pen. And I bought the Liquitex acrylic ink in the iridescent bright gold. And I filled it just to kind of and try you it used out. It, didn't you? I, didn't, I, I just got it running. Oh, okay. I haven't really like used it yet, but it takes a minute to get this ink started. But once it starts, it's really pretty gold. Oh, so it did work. Gorge. Is that acrylic ink? Yeah, it's acrylic ink. So the acrylic ink. Can you and you can resin over that, correct? Yes. So, so remember that guys, when you're embellishing your pores, you can resin over acrylic ink. But you cannot resin over was it the gouache? The, the gua okay, so gouache, and then there's a acrylic gouache now. 
there's they came out a while ago with acrylic gouache, which is an acrylic based gouache. So if anybody's into watercoloring and wants that kind of look, mm -hmm. gouache gives you a more opaque like watercolor look. Right. And now they have an acrylic gouache, which is it'll give you the finish of like a watercolor. But because it's acrylic based, you can now resin over it. You can varnish it. You can do anything, and it's not going to bleed. It's not going to pick that color back up. Will unmixed acrylic paints freeze? Um, they all have a, a percentage of water. Hey, do you mean if you're having them shipped to you, hon? If they'd freeze, um, they'll they'll be wrapped. Uh, they. Jerry's is notorious for the best shipping ever. Um, they bubble wrap everything and they wrap it in shrink wrap so it doesn't leak. I've never had a problem with um, Jerry's at all. And if you do, you call a customer service, take a picture of it, and they replace it and let you keep what you got. So, yeah, I wouldn't worry about it freezing. It's coming from North Carolina Warehouse is 15 minutes from my house. I want to go up there and say, can I have all your damaged bottles of paint? <laughs> there was another question here, too. Um, what is a wash, Nate? A wash? Yes. A watercolor wash? Is oh, that what you're talking about? The gouache? Or... No, what is a wash? Yeah, are they referring to like watercolor washing when you are... I'm not acrylic gouache. Nick wants to know what's a, the, the acrylic acrylic gouache. So if you've never used a watercolor before or gouache, um, gouache is typically it's around the same consistency as a watercolor, but it's typically more opaque, it's a lot more pigmented, Jan and you can layer. Okay, Jana. She says, oh, cool. Do I still have time? This was just a show that was here um, in Art of the Art of the Carolinas. But you can go online and order it. The prices are pretty close to what they were at the show. They're not the same, but they're pretty big savings. So I would order it online. You get free shipping at $35. Spend $35. Bucks, it's free shipping. Huh? Or more, yes. <laughs> so... As you guys can see, I went and grabbed every paint, pen, and marker that I could find at the show because these were 99 cents each for the gold, the silver, the white, the black. These are the um, Office Mate paint markers. So. Those are 99 cents each. I had to get them all. I was excited. <laughs> then they had the Office Mate Jumbo paint marker in this teal, which I wanted to try. I have an idea for something that I want to do with this. Eric, why don't you find somewhere else to go play? Huh? We have a drill. Uh, Sorry, guys. We always get one in the crowd. And then, but yes, I got more metallic markers to play with. This set had a green, a blue, and a purple on top of the silver, the gold, and the um, red gold, as they call it. And then this one has black, white, silver, copper, and gold. Some neons, more neons in jumbo. I made Nick a moderator. <laughs> <laughs> and then Nick has power now. <laughs> dun dun dun. And then the Windsor Newton pigment markers. So the pigment markers, let me show you guys these. I was playing with them. They write over glass and everything, but they're a little bit more transparent. <laughs> if I can even open this, help. <laughs> Having special moments. Dun, dun, dun. Don't touch yourself. I'm not going to be cleaning it up. <laughs> oh, here comes the mothering. I know. <laughs> he so, was a good boy today. 
I only had to pinch him once. <laughs> Monica said, give it to Alan. <laughs> Alan's taping tiles, guys. We don't want to disturb him. Ooh. Yeah, wait to see what I bought. What'd you buy? Nothing. <laughs> <laughs> he had that big paintbrush at Jerry's store, though, for 75 bucks. So, the Windsor Newton pigment markers. Diane wants to know what brand that empty one is that we got at Jerry's store. Oh, this? Uh, that was, it just said acrylic. Um, yeah, it's, empty it's not acrylic. a fine point, though, is it? Yeah, it is. Is it a fine point? Yeah. Fine point. But also, Shawn Michaels has these. All around. Oh, yeah. So Michaels also has similar, and the Michaels comes in with Extra. two replacement nibs, where these don't have a replacement nib, and they're refillable. So when you switch out a color, you can always switch out the nib as well. Or if the nib dries up, you have a replacement nib, which is really great. And it's for two of these, plus the replacement nibs, was the same price as the one over at... Jerry's. Jerry's. So I wish I knew that at the time, but I... Yeah. I grabbed those at Michael's because I was jelly that you got that. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm, I'm, I wish I could show you. So these right on glass, I don't know if you can see on my... Right here, a little bit. Slip a piece of white paper under there. There you go. All right. You see how, like, pigmented they are and everything? I really want to try using these on... A resin piece because they still have a very transparent look to them so I want to experiment and play so decided to pick up a, both the neon and the metallic or not the, the these sets the blues and then the um, the basic primaries Carrie, we put uh, painter's tape on the back of our tiles when we're prepping them. And then we clean the tiles with alcohol before we pour paint on them. Nate, are those pens like alcohol ink pens? Um, They're more, more like acrylic ink pens, correct? These right here or these? These are all acrylic. These are the ones in my hands right now. Nick missed the brand of those markers. Windsor and Newton. Advanced inks made with fine art pigments. Uh, it's not very specific on what they are. To be honest, I'm reading this and it doesn't really tell you it, what kind of ink it is. It just says advanced inks made with fine art pigments. So I'm going to have to... I don't think they're alcohol-based. You wouldn't get that much pigment from an alcohol-based no. ink. An alcohol-based ink tends to bead up when placed on a clear surface like plastic or glass. So well, what The guy at um, Grumbacher told us that it was plastic paint. So it's, it's acrylic. So it dries like acrylic. It's waterproof just like acrylic. When so we were the, talking about the chrome markers with Oh, you. yeah. Yeah. So, so I'm assuming that's the same. Those are the ones that are new in. I got Liquitex. And then I have one more bag to show you guys. Let me get this all back together. It's like Christmas for us. We don't know what to play with first. <laughs> but we are going to be totally out of our regular realm tonight. Completely. Do you want to tell them what we're doing next when I'm putting this away? Um, we're going to do some stone coat resin tonight. Yep. We're going to do a stone coat resin painting for you guys tonight. So it's, Side by cider. Is this the first resin you've done on your live? No. Well, no? yeah, on a live, yeah. Yeah. Besides, so, a, besides a top coat, yeah. So it's the first resin painting she's doing on a live, you guys. Yay! Where are we going to do that? Huh? Where are you going to do that? We're going to do it here. 
<laughs> Alan's all worried. Do I need to clean the table up? <laughs> all right, so I have one last bag. All I need to do is just pull my heater gun, heat gun over. We're going to have to take all this. So if you guys have any questions, you can ask away. We'll try to answer. Okay. Turn down a trip to Hobby Lobby. Yeah, he turned down stopping at Hobby Lobby. And let me tell you why. He had a blister. <laughs> okay, so I, I forgot my shoes, my dress shoes shoes at home. And I was packing. So I only had flip-flops and sneakers. And what I was wearing for today just looked awful with flip-flops or sneakers. And I can't yes, I was. And it was being... cold here today. <laughs> yeah, it was good. So we ended up going and I ended out and I bought a pair of shoes. They're like 20 bucks. But they were cute. Tell them when we went and bought those shoes, Nate. In the middle of the night. <laughs> it was last midnight. Night. Midnight. In the middle of the night last night. So <laughs> new shoes on a day where you're walking and the heel is stiff. You guys can just put it out together. Yeah, Nate got a free water bottle. I didn't I, get anything free and I spent more money than you did. <laughs> I got a free water bottle. Yay. What? Not my kind. Oh yeah, we stopped by um what was that cute little place that we stopped by? Oh, that was the ship on site where we oh. dropped off all the packages. They have a little gift shop there. So Nate got Gizmo a new bandana. They were free. It says Subaru loves pets. So Gizmo has a new bandana. So he's excited. taking his baby home something too. But, okay, so this, I had other stuff, but I can't show that one tonight because it is for somebody, but. <laughs> What's that? These are the reflections. I was trying to get the plastic off, but I, I'm like, <laughs> I'm incapable right now. Reflections, they're bound sketchbooks. So for Ink Cobra videos that I've been doing, everything like that, I wanted something so I can come in, do some more drawings for you guys, start going through and doing that 100 um, somethings challenge. And I wanted to start filming that for you guys so we can play with drawing. If you guys have trouble drawing anything, you guys can always ask me. I got masking fluid as well. I'm excited to try out. I got three of those. Got some needed erasers because these things are amazing and you can never have too many of them. I had to get some more palette knives because look at these guys. They, This one's pretty typical, but these three are a little bit harder to find unless you go to a straight up arts like Dick Blick or Jerry's Artorama. Not crafty stores, more of an art-based store, which I don't have around town. So I had to get some more palette knives. So I will be playing with these in my videos. I want to show you guys some techniques to use with palette knives if you're interested. So I want to do kind of layering on top of some paint pours, maybe doing some raised textured flowers or something. Yeah, the palette knives were fun. They had like what 30 or 40 different ones. Oh my god, they that had more wall. than that. They it was had like two a whole separate wall. walls. And they were two dollars a piece. Yeah. Two dollars a piece for palette knives, which generally run like twelve dollars per palette. And I had to pick up some of these to play with. One is a sepia toned. Let's see. Yeah. This one's a sanguine. And sepia and black. Uh, Theresa, I did get your email, but I need your mailing address. Can you send me another email with your mailing address? I just checked that for her real quick. Oh, and I met the. Um, we met a lot of people. A lot of people. Oh, we yeah. sent. We gave out so many business cards today, and met other YouTubers today. 
Oh yeah, we met other YouTubers. A YouTuber recognized me. I don't know if you're out there watching this, but hello. <laughs> and yes, they might be watching us tonight because we told a lot of people we were going oh, yeah? live tonight. So hi everyone, if you're watching us at that we met tonight. Hi to the one that met me and recognized me, which completely threw me off. I didn't think anybody wouldn't recognize me. <laughs> go big or go home. Um, Theresa, no, I have to have your mailing address so I can quote you a shipping quote. So I will get that to you tonight once I have your mailing address because we have to box your painting and weigh it and then calculate the postage and then we email you an invoice. Um, the thing with the thumbs up, guys, if you're on your phone, the thumbs up won't usually show up until the video is over. Yeah. Till the live is over. Or you can always go click it, close out, and come back in and it'll show up. But that's a pain. No one wants to do that. <laughs> so I got plenty of pens so I can start doing some drawing videos for you guys. Playing with the masking fluid. I want to start trying building up with textural paint on top of paint floors. Maybe doing something a little bit more 3D, which I thought would be kind of cool. Mm -hmm. So that is my my buys tonight. I hope you guys are excited because I'm excited. Oh I want to try we all so of this stuff for you guys. We and... were like two little kids today. Oh. <laughs> Alan had to like drag us out of there. Yes, he did. Are you done? Are you, are you done? done? <laughs> Here you go. My thing was too, I got hungry, so we had to leave. Uh-oh. <laughs> Yeah, I bought three masking fluid, Nick. Three of them. Did you buy three? I thought you bought two. I bought three because oh, I went what? back and grabbed one more. <laughs> there was only three left, and I grabbed two. And then I saw the three left, and I had to make it even. I couldn't leave it an, an uneven number, so I grabbed another one. I wonder if that will be refilled for tomorrow. Because they were replenishing. They say every night yeah. they replenish what they sold out of. Do you want to go back tomorrow? I do want to Oh, my God. Would you guys be mad at us if we Alan did like a live in the morning? Look, look, look. He gave us the look and he's shaking his head. No. He, he, oh. well. He, 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 what? Come on. Come it, on. You're doing it. You're bringing us back. <laughs> so. They move it every day, Nate. It's in another place. You're not going to be able to find it. All that's nonsense. Oh, yeah. I do have a channel, guys. Um. Let me see if I can. I think I want to put your link in. I forgot to do that. I'm sorry. Oh, here. I'm going to see if I can jump on real quick and comment. So if you guys follow. Oh, never mind. Nick got it. Yay. I was too late. Nick's going to be a good mod. Uh huh. <laughs> Good so, for you. <laughs> yeah, good mod for me. So there it is, guys. There's the link to my page, or you can always follow. I just posted. I said yay, and you can always follow that. And ah, oh, Christina, Nick said, laugh out. Aunt Christina and Nate are going back to the art in Carolina. Who said that? <laughs> Carrie Simmons. Well, here's the thing. Uh, Alan has to watch his brother tomorrow. A Just huge hug. Thank, thank you to Christina and too. Alan for helping me. Oh, oh you thank you, Brett. If Alan has to bring TJ, we get to park in the handicap spot. <gasps> no, we are no, right next no. to the door. Yes. And then no. that means we have less the like walking to the car yeah. to do with all the stuff. All the wheelchair. <laughs> So Christine is grabbing the stuff for our resin. Let me get the the pad down real quick. Mary, just uh, put in the credit card name and number, and then I'll allow them to go. <laughs> it is in rally. Yeah, it's like an hour away from where we're at, currently at right now. And every year out here, the second week, um, Cheryl. This year it was at a uh, the Hilton. It's at the same place over oh, there. Oh, 
It's at the Hilton right and there, And if you're coming in from out of town, you can stay at the hotel. They have workshops that you can take classes. They run about 120 to 175 where you can go in and learn different forms of art. Um, we didn't do that because we had other things planned for today. But And, and for the husbands that are uh, or significant others that are taking somebody to these events, there is a hospital across the street. So uh, if you have a heart attack or pass out, they can take you right across the street. Uh -huh. You're hilarious. It's a cute name. Alan for kept, our, no, don't let him group. fool you. Alan kept putting canvas in the cart. I was not picking out any canvas. The Parage Posse. The Parage Posse. <laughs> yeah, Alan was the one that put all the canvas in the cart. I just got sizes you didn't have. So. I had, well, I love those long panels. Those are going to be fun. Yeah, something to start my panel with. Right? <laughs> Just in case you got sticker shock. Yeah, we have a handicap placard in our car, but we don't use it unless TJ's with us. Sometimes we don't even use a pen because yep. people use it when they shouldn't. Hey, Nick, can you repost my link real quick for Teresa? Yep, we are doing a resin painting tonight. It's the first one she's done on her live. Other than just doing resin coatings on painting, this is going to be the first. And look, she has the gold rush flakes. She has like everything, the diamond dust metallic. <gasps> using those tonight, could, oh my God, I'm in love. No. I, okay, so that doesn't exist anymore, guys. Shh, shh. Nate? What? No touchy. No touchy. No touchy. What? <laughs> Everyone's saying, yay, I'm part of the Parage Posse. I'm proud of it. Yeah. <gasps> and we could do like one of the paint pour, um, the flowers, the bottle bottom flowers, because it was very hippie, the posse, you know, never, you know. kind of very fun 60s. Hippie okay. kind of thing. No, what no. Do you guys say? You guys don't like it? Okay. I'm getting I silence. Get, I get so many emails of ideas for t shirts. <laughs> so Nate, Nate also got to experience the cotton company today. Oh, yes. oh yeah. I, so I filmed it, but I filmed it on my little Sony and I have to download it and then upload it. So I will be uploading it a day late. Because my phone did die. I forgot to bring my car charger. So. <laughs> Oops, but oh, oh, we're doing a um, yay! Yeah, canvas. Because we didn't prep any board yet. Well, I mean the this this canvas. Oh yeah, those work the best for resin. They're tighter. Cute little twelve by twelve. I'm actually gonna let you do a lot of it because I want you to experience the stone coat yeah, products. I only have the stone coat um, resin and like one to two, one to two um, colors. So I don't have a lot of mica powders, but the black <laughs> base, the white base. Yes, and I did put them in bottles. Canvas. These are our level three gallery wraps from Michaels. <gasps> that is so pretty. Isn't it beautiful? So it's violet pearl metallic. Oh, does it pick up purple on the screen? It's iridescent. It's like an iridescent purple, but I don't know if it's picking a purple for them. If they can see the purple in it. We won't be using this though. Not that one. Um, this is kind of flaky too. We might be able to use a little bit of that. Those are flakier, these two here. You know, like They're not really like pigment. Oh. Well, what about adding a little bit of that if we, we can both? add we can add both, yeah. So well, there's then, there's two of those there. Actually this goes with something else. So we, 
because I I ordered an extra one for. So I'm just looking else. at the colors that she has. Rainforest green. Oh. Yeah, I kind of like the Parage Posse. It just has a ring to it, doesn't mm -hmm. it? Another ocean. Carrie says it doesn't show until it mixes. The purple? Yeah, the mm. iridescent, the violet, purple, metallic. Oh my pearl. God. Okay. Uh, Darren Smith wants to know what is the difference between a regular canvas and a gallery wrap? Uh, the gallery wraps are thicker. Um, Nate, can you? No, oh, sorry. <laughs> I'm having fun looking at these colors. It's it's such a dork. They're a double canvas and they're they have a gasket let me just pull this up and i'll show you they have a nice gasket here that the canvas is underneath so it's very tight and if you're gonna show your work let's say you want to get into a gallery these are the best canvases to show your work on because they look nicer on a wall than the thinner one Alan, you're catching our questions for us. You are awesome. Yeah. And he's sitting way over in the shipping department. <laughs> no, this is the prep department. No. Converted. Oh, no, no, no. It's still the shipping department. It's the temporary prep <laughs> department because there's an overflow. Of oh, you keep taking those from me, aren't you? <laughs> I'm such a turd. <laughs> Separating it. Look at that. The moss metallic is so pretty. So are you deciding what colors you want to use? Oh, am I deciding? I'm just looking at all yeah. the pretty colors. Do you want them to decide? Or do you want to decide since it's your first time doing a... Well, when I did my first one as a video, I used the... It wasn't real teal. It was the Blue Earth Metallic. And I believe it was copper. And the black base. And I think it was some ocean blue in there. I love that coffee metallic. I love the way it finishes. Deep silver metallic. Have you used this at all? No, okay. but I love it. I kind of like those. Mm. With something else. It might muddy if they hit each other. What if we kept them separate? It's not easy to keep um, colors separate on resin. I know. It's not like paint. I know. I've done, the, I mixed the gold and the coffee metallic because that's what I have. Oh, that's pretty that too. Red. That's a pretty red. These colors are so pretty. So here's the thing too. If you're going to do um, acrylic paint with your resin, don't use the stuff that we have in the bottles. You have to use it straight out of the tube. And you're only going to use a tiny little bit. Maybe we'll do that. Let me pull one. What color would you like? Oh, you mean? You want to use that Mystic Moss? I do. So oh, are we doing a acrylic in it? I'm going to, yeah, just so they can see how it mixes in with this. So that they, they don't have to buy all these powders and yeah. pay, you know, paste. They can do, use Do you want to do that um, green, blue, the blue, green phthalo? Yes, we can do that. It's such a pretty color, and I think it would look really, really rich inside of the resin. Do you want to get an apron on and take your jacket off? Because you'll probably get something on you. Yeah, I'll go grab my apron. <laughs> so while you do that, I can mix the resin. What other color do you want? We want to welcome 343 from Wales. She says it's cold, she's hungry, and she can't stay here until I... Stay until she drifts asleep because your voices are so soothing. We're soothing. Aw. I've never had my voice called soothing before. <laughs> That's exciting. Dory Smith says, That's it. I'm coming to see Christina and Alan. So I'm like getting a Mr. little OCD. So spend a week with them and you become OCD yourself, I'm telling you. What? <laughs> Are you putting them in order by color? No. <laughs> well, then you're not OCD. It did yes. not rub off. I'm over here doing it. I'm just telling you now. <laughs> did you pick your colors? 
Yeah. Uh, those. So you have what? I still want to see that green and that um, silver. deep silver metallic because it has a brown undertone to it. So it's muddy anyway. It's going to be brown anyway. So you need a highlight though. So you're going to have to go with a gold or a copper because those three colors will get lost. What about that pearl? Do you think a white pearl might pop it? We have a white background. Oh, good point. So we can put that white do you want to do in the gold? background if you want. Kendra says she's never tried, and she says you have to be careful, or she heard you have to be careful to, uh, that the colors don't mix too much. Well, yeah. I've done a dirty pour with them, and it's not bad. It's, it all depends how you layer them. You know, it's the same with painting. You can't put two colors of resin next to each other that would create mud. Same thing with paint. So if you're putting something between them, they should be fine. What about a sprinkle of each gold into one? Do you think like the really bit of each one? I think that to make them all metallic -y? Like extra, extra metallic -y gold. Have you ever tried mixing all three golds? You are so indecisive. You are as bad as Alan. Wait, <laughs> I'm not indecisive. I want these colors. Hey. But I'm trying to decide. <laughs> We're going to do the gold. What, how have you used this gold? <laughs> have you used this? What is that? The Maybe. gold dust metallic? No, I have not. I have not used any of the new metallics that well, came out the past three or four weeks. We'll do that. Gold dust. Because I've been doing all blood coating. Let me go get my apron on. Allie, there's plenty left. They're restocking, Allie. They, they brought in a new truck tonight. Flip-flops and a tie. Yeah, I'm wearing that right now. And my socks have little he's doggies got, on them. He's got socks on with his flip-flops. He's dork. Yep, I'm a dork tonight. I took those other shoes off in it because they were killing me. Sound like a woman. Hey. Nobody knows and he took his bra too. off as soon as he got home, too. Yep. <laughs> and I had to curl my hair and I had to put the blush on. Oh, my goodness. After the foundation, but I had to use a primer first. Then the foundation. Then All right, so I'm going to mix up the hair. resin. I better mix up a little extra because Nate wants to play with color. A little extra. A little extra. Are you calling me extra? <laughs> <laughs> oh, Nate. What am I going to do when you leave? Sleep. Go back. Go back to sleep. Life. I'm going to sleep because he doesn't let me sleep. I let you sleep? Oh, That's a boy, lie. We didn't go to bed till almost 1 o'clock and we had to get up at 6. Uh, anytime you could have walked away to go sleep. No, because we had to take you to Walmart so you could get shoes. I'm sorry. Well, you <laughs> wanted to get stools. I did. So I did get. I did buy stools. You can't that. throw that completely on me. Stools for the new table. I just used your excuse to get stools to get shoes. Kathy found us. I did. I thought. Well, I'll just text her and see where she's at, and she found us. She recognized us right away. She I said. know. It was fun. So I'm putting two pairs of gloves on my left hand and three on my right. You're going to be lost without Nate. So Carrie said. I'm going to be lost without Nate? Yeah. Oh, well. I'll live. You kind of like Nate's luggage. luggage. <laughs> so, on the stone coat, the A resin is thicker than the B, the hardener. So, I like to start, start with the B into my container first. I'm going to do... Yes, Shelly, I agree. Nate's taking over the bickering duties. We haven't been too bad. Oh. Me and Nate bickering. <laughs> No, it's just like another son. Yeah, it's just like having another kid here. And then I put the I A in. You are. You're you resemble that comment. Uh -huh. But he likes to do things for us. Yeah. Oh, wait, wait, what? I missed that. What, what? You like to do things with us. We can't get the other two to do anything with us unless there's food involved. That's not totally true. So 
I like to mix this for at least two minutes. I do use a silicone spatula and I wipe about every 10 stirs just to make sure I'm getting all of that part um, A off of my spatula because that's the sticky stuff. Do you want to um, put some of that metallic powder in these three cups? Clear? Gold. Gold. Okay. Okay. Ooh. That one? Well, do you want Teresa a little bit of each in there? Pronounce her name not Teresa, but Teresa. Teresa. Okay. Teresa. I got that now. Oh my God, Amanda, don't start with that. So what? She's saying she's praying for no holes or gonads tonight. <laughs> no bungles. <laughs> oh my God, I was laughing so hard last night. Do you have one of those tiny little, little spoons or just a. I have the... these, huh? Oh. Valerie says, can't take it anymore. She's going to pull it up. These are little allergy things that restaurants put in food. I use these for resiny. So, whenever I mix, if you're going to be doing that much, I... Good night, Cheryl. I'm not sure if you do the same, but I do about that. Um, You can use a little bit more than that. Okay. You like it a little bit more opaque? Yeah. So 10%. You like it about there? Yeah, it's fine. Okay. So, these also make it a lot easier for measuring? You want it more opaque so you'll get cells. Oh, okay. Well, every time I've done it, I've kind of done it just to do a clear coat on something. Right. So you but. really haven't played with color color. That's why I want you to play, because it's fun. It's fun. Okay, I'm wrong. It's Riza. 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 I'm sorry. Gosh, Alan. Um, Monica wants Theresa. to know how the gadget magic painting is Theresa. Running. Alan. Toriza. Toriza? Toriza. I am so sorry. I'm, I'm reading this on my uh, little fire. And... His eyes aren't that great. <laughs> Go get your bi bifocals. Toriza. That's a super. So just call her Reza. It's easier. Reza. I, I'm even. I, I, I'm afraid to pronounce his name, but hello, Miss Forsyth. It's J I J I E. G G. Is it G G? Night, Cheryl. Okay. So we're just about there. I like yes, to pick Gigi it up right. to make sure I don't see any strands. Gigi is right. Oh. <laughs> that would have been an awful accident, huh? It's funny. A left-handed person sitting on the right. On my right hand, yep. To a right-handed person. So we're like... Rah. That's okay. It stayed in the cup. I'm going to start filling these up. How much do you want? Just like maybe half? Not even half, huh? Well, we don't need a lot of color. No, it's we a don't need a lot of color at all. Hurry up, Nate. I know we have 45 minutes to work with this stuff, so right. we're okay. Ooh. Green just got everywhere. I was trying to close oh, it. Oh, you made a mess. I don't think I'll close it. You're making the mess. I am. <laughs> You're glowing, though. I know. You're glowing green. Okay, That's Maria wants to know, does it turn clear once it is fully mixed? Yes. It's hard to do from this angle. Because I'm like trying... Just don't inhale that because... You know, mica powders are stone and... Yep. Yep. Do you want a little bit more gold in that? I need a little more resin in that one, I think. 
One, one thing I learned uh, while I was in the uh, Jerry's store. What did you learn, Alan? We saw a gallon of another brand of resin. Of resin that was selling for $133. And it's junk. I'm not going to name the brand. But, uh, <laughs> Why not those, name the brand? No, I'm not. I don't to. want them to buy it. But my point is. <clears throat> My point is, right now you can buy the stone coat cheaper, cheaper, online from and the get thirty dollars off, and get thirty dollars off, and get two mica powders. Well, thirty dollars off is your two mica powders. Look at that green. I am glowing. You're getting it all in my face. Sorry. So, just wanted to point that out. See, yeah. honey, it doesn't really color it. It just. Is a highlight. Do so I you want to put some bit? gold in there? Yeah. Okay, Terry wants to know, are you using art or countertop? This is the art coat. I only use the countertop for tiles. And then this is for the Soho. And the reason for that is because of the high temperature. Well, I like the um, countertop. It, it gets harder as it cures than the art coat does. Art coat was made for art. And the countertop epoxy is made for durability so that's i would use it if you're going to be putting cups and hot cups and stuff on i mean you can use the art coat it's not going to hurt it any but i just had a gallon of the countertop stuff so i'm using that uh, amanda said someone in australia did a test with four different resins and they all went yellow in the sunlight none of them were stone coat yeah i have i actually have that chart with the pictures Pro Marine did yellow. Everybody says it doesn't. It did. So I need to mix. And Maria up. said the art coat Just has the a better UV protection in than the countertop. You need a cup for a black. I didn't hear that, Ellen. I'm sorry. Uh, Maria was just pointing out the art coat has a better UV protection in than the countertop one. Yes. So when you're putting paint in your resin, I have about a half a cup. This is a three ounce cup. I'm only going to use one tiny little drop. Any more than that, you might get a little marshmallowy. But look at that color. And of course, it's going to be a little transparent, Nate. Yeah. Okay. I, well, I used to use the um, color Chef Aqua in my resin. And it's so pretty. Good job, Ellie. Oh, we got another troll. Uh, a solicitation. Did you explain why you wear multiple gloves? Huh? I'm gonna as I do it. Okay. Why well, Nate does it, I'm gonna. Nate needs to get some gloves on. Are the little ones over there bigger? <coughs> no, they're all the same size. Oh. The white ones are the white ones are bigger. Larger over here. They're largest. Okay, so this is all you're gonna get for color snakes. The rest of this is gonna go on the canvas. Yep. Uh, Terry wants to know how long should I wait to use my coasters with the resin? Uh three days is for a soft cure. But I would wait 30 days just to be on the safe side. And Amanda says, I asked last night but ne never noticed an answer. Is color shift the same as what I know as interference paints? Um, I wouldn't think they're the same as interference. Because they do have their own pigment and not just the interference pigment. They're not opaque. Or they're not transparent, right, Nate? They're about semi-transparent, don't you semi, think? Semi, yeah. You can't, like, it's really, it makes it really hard to see anything underneath it. But okay, it's not so there's the black. Okay, the rest I'm gonna put white to put on the canvas. I'm not sure if we answered Amanda's question. 
What? Why is shift the same as what she knows as interference? We just answered it. Okay. I'm not sure what an interference paint is. It's changing the sheen of another paint. Yeah. Flat to glossy. No. Or the sheen. Or like the sheen like satin gloss. No, like, you mean like iridescent or metallic or Oh, that kind of Yeah. Do you understand do you get it now? <laughs> well gloss and that's a sheen as well. Yeah, I yeah, so. I probably should have said the iridescent quality of a paint. Iridescent is yeah. <laughs> More like metallic and color shift. Metallic, pearl, um, like that. Also, you want to talk about the color shift real quick? Uh, what happened at Walmart last night? Oh, yeah. So they had all of the color shift paints at Walmart last night in the little two-ounce bottles. So Nate and I stopped, and we're like, oh, they're $1.97. I said to Alan, go price check that. How much were they? Uh... Three. Some of them, some of them were three ninety seven, and the metallics were four ninety seven. Do you want to do the work? So just double check your prices on those paints. Don't always believe what you see on the. Uh, you better uh, get rid of that phone before you get resin on it. Labeled above them. I was just gonna ask if you want to name that. Oh. Um. Hold that for a second. Let me get this glove off. Okay, Nady, spread that around. And then I'll give you the heat gun. I like to do this with my hand. This is why you want to wear Do you want it as your gloves. first one? Go right in the middle and spread it out. I just pull and then go all over. But, okay. but this has this has tint in it. So you want to make sure you... Because you want to go over those sides. You're just going to push it all over the place. Do like you, like it's paint. Well, that's what I was saying. I like to hit the edges first when I did the... My base coat with my red. I just show it all over because oh. you're going to do the whole sides and everything. So. And then I usually go back and let it completely fall over. Uh, Denise wants to know what is the color shift for? It just adds interest interest to a painting. So let's say you're using black color shift. So at one angle it will be black. At another angle it'll be gold. Um, like we use the blue flash when it hits the black it turns to purple at one angle it's bluish at one angle it's purple we'd like to just add it to add a little bit of interest to color um, we did do some paintings where they were all color shift the other night they're dry if you want to show them we will when we're done okay i'll show you some dried paintings when we're done Just trying to make sure the edges are completely covered. There's a lot right there. But it'll all drip anyway. Kind of looks like that melted marshmallow, that marshmallow fluff or whatever it's called. So Denise says, so you add the color shift to your Soho paints? Not add no, color shift no exactly we use it by paint. itself. Color shift is, they each have their own color. There's 11 different colors, and you just use them as a, another paint. You can lay it, let's say you put um, black in the cup, then you can put the black flash over it. And then if you're using a purple, you could put the purple flash over top of that, just to highlight those colors and have them shift. So you're getting a contrast on top of that as well. So it's different colors when looking at them at diff different, different angles, angles yeah. or different lighting. Do you want to use this? No, to get I'm going to use bubble? this. Okay. You want to do it? And when you get done with heating that up, you want to um, tilt it and get that excess out of the middle of that canvas. Ooh, look, new toy for me. I don't have a heat gun. I just have my little torch. First one. Huh? You want it as your first one? Which one? Now, Nate's getting the Jazz, the Jazz camera. I've got the bottle of that one. That's the one that you do. That's why I fly. 
I just oh. got the picture of it. Oh. I can't do it with gloves on. <laughs> what did I ask? No, I was just saying you were getting a jazz camera while you were going back and forth with the heat gun. Oh, so this caused the... Uh... Yep. Heartbeat. Huh. Oh, because I think what it's trying to do is fo trying to focus up here, and it's trying to focus below. It doesn't know what to focus on. Because if you put your hand too high, you see, it's trying to focus on your hand, and it's trying to focus down here. Oh, hand me that. Yeah. All right, you can start putting some color on. You don't want me to tilt any? Yeah, you want to get the excess out of the middle. Boy, it's hard to type with gloves on. Uh, Are you don't... laughing? No. Did you did you chuckle? No. So I guess this is a question. Is this a foundation? Yes, but I did put white in it um, because the white... When we push it over a color, we'll get cells. That looks good, Nate. There's like a hair in there or something. We got tweezers right here. I don't know what this is, but it looks like there's something in here. Hold it. You will yeah. find that. You'll Some find things. all kinds of things in resin. It, that's you. Can, it's so hard to get a perfectly flawless piece. There's always a fuzzy or a hair. I usually can get all the hairs, but I can't always get all the dust. So Good you night, might have Katie. a couple of little pieces. Hope you're feeling better. Get some rest. And thank you for joining us. Get well soon. All right, so. I just embraced it. Because I have gloves on. Oops. Since this Soho Phyllo Green Blue is a more transparent color, I think I'm going to do it first. Right. And your gold is more transparent, yeah. too. Since these are a little bit more opaque. We do have some Just Resin paste and Color Obsession paste, but I want to show you how well the Soho, or yeah, how well the Soho will work in with the resin and how well these Stone Coat products work. Maria says, it's a good thing Stone Coat has a 45-minute work time, Nate. <laughs> Whatever, Maria. <laughs> Whatever. Mm -hmm. You should see the faces he's making right now. Oh, he's smirking. Yeah, I have to have the description after. Okay. <clears throat> Is it still uploading? She, she says, just razzing you, sweetheart. Okay, now be very careful. Ooh, that came out quick. Because you want the black underneath, not on top. I know. Okay, so here's the thing with the stone coat. Oh, this tint. is that tint, yeah. Yep. It's not the... The black works best when it's under color. So that the colors will, it'll sell out. And then the white, you put... You push it over color to get cells. Is there a higher setting? No, I'm not turning it up higher. It will burn your resin. But I'm going to push it. I, no, you're that's just helping. Okay. So you're going to push it? Yeah. Oh, you, can, you can hit it closer and push it. Oh. Now watch. Can I lay a strip of gold over top of that? Yeah, that's all I was going to do. Or do you want the um, silver? I was going to do Well, I was going to have it while you were uh, still running that. Oh. But now remember, this is just glitter. I don't know if you'll get any cells from me. Do that. Valerie just wants you to know it's not a question, but she says you should have heard her trying to explain flow trial boogers to her husband last night. Right? 
Yeah, so you've got to have something more opaque on the top of that. Mm. But go ahead, play. I want you to play. I am. Because we just... have so much resin, and I thought we'll let Nate play while he's here. I kind of like that squiggly line. <laughs> play off of that. I just feel like it needed a little bit longer. And I'll do one more, and I'm going to push those too. There might be a tiny little bit of white left in that cup that you can put down there, too. If you scrape it out. Is there enough? Yeah. If you don't drip on you. On your pants. Uh, Terry wants to know, do you resin as many times as it takes or leave imperfections? Um, I'll do three at the most, because after three, it's just too much. Unless you're doing a layered painting. It adds way, a lot of weight to a canvas. I can usually get away with two. Um, Nate was telling me about how to tape the sides and wait a couple hours and then remove the tape so it slowly flows over the sides. I'm gonna be trying that too to see if I can get away with one coat. It, it works so much easier. That's what I did with those um, bees. When they did that bee um, hexagon. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you want to be careful you don't get it too warm with a puddle in the middle. Okay. So go ahead and lay all your color down and just move it around, maybe. See how it's so liquidy? Yeah. That's what happens when you heat it up. And it likes to just set in the middle of the canvas. That was one of the reasons I picked a gallery wrap, too, because they're a little tighter. But if we were using a level one, it would all be sitting in the middle. Valerie says, uh, you can only do so much with resin. And she says, looking great so far. I love Nate. that. That, this? Yeah, so add some more colors before these heat up in the cup and they get too thick. you got to move fast with resin. <laughs> explain the heating up, the resin yeah, itself. It, it's a, it's a, it's a, uh, what do we call it? Heating, a, heating in the pot. Um, it likes to try to cure when it's thick like that, the depth. So you want to move quick on your colors. Because you can always move it around and add a little what's left in your cup after. So you get pretty much put down the design you want with your colors and move them around a little bit with the heat gun. Ellie's loving this so far. Yeah, Kendra, that, that's the autofocus that keeps going in and out. Yeah, just did it there. Amanda said her. That's throat. when his arm came across. That's because he didn't have enough hair on his arm. <laughs> that wasn't very nice, was it? <laughs> He has hair. He's just a little gingerly. And it's blonde. Mm -hmm. I dye my hair ginger. Oh, okay. My head is ginger because I dye it, but I'm naturally blonde. I try to hide that. There's back. nothing wrong with being blonde. I used to be blonde. <laughs> Every, says everybody got to see paint. my white hair today. <laughs> Valerie says, go crazy, Nate. It's kind of mellow today. I think we, we went crazy earlier today and just wasted it all. I did not waste it. Are they, they saying it's mellow? Yeah. He's oh. not goofy tonight. I'm not tired, though. But like, like I said, I get goofy when I'm tired. Yeah, it also be less being used to seeing me fast forward and through the video. <laughs> I like it. That's what I wanted. Real time is like slow more. Allie, you're going in the timeout. You want to behave yourself. Who's going to put her there? Are you? Nick. Or did Nick leave? I don't see Nick. He's probably sleeping. 
He must bore him because he always leaves. <laughs> Ouch. Yeah. I'm gonna go I cry. said it. I said it. She did. I get some. I, I want to keep that around. white. I'm like, I'm loving this like negative space that's going on. But I don't think I'm going to move the gold too much. I kind of like the solid gold because of that. Oh, glitter. we had a disco screen again. <laughs> Bill says she's learning to dance when it happens. We are. I got a new webcam. Um, we're going to try to play with that a little bit tomorrow morning. Just to see if it will still do it. We're going to hook it up and see how well the picture is before we even try to do a live on it. That's really pretty. And more of that silver. And Alan is not doing our laundry. He's doing his brother's laundry. Because I've been so busy that I didn't do it this week. He's such a good guy. We should keep him, Nate. We should. He was our chauffeur and cart pusher today. He grabbed all the canvas yes. so you didn't have to. Well, he bought more than I would have bought. <laughs> What? Canvas. Who? You. I, you put more in the cart than I would have put in there, but I love those panels. I can't wait to play with them. Enough. Tortured he gun. Hey. Carol Lee said it's not our camera's problem, so it's happening more and more on YouTube with uh, different live streams lately. Oh, they're getting a disco screen too? Yeah. I never noticed it on anybody else's. But I don't One want to, I, I don't want you, to go to lives. One of my Navy friends who goes on live, he started getting it a lot. Hey, Jeannie. Hello, oh, Jeannie. Hello, Jen. That's true, Jennifer. We had that discussion today that he needs to film some stuff for his channel, too. Well, I have a video uploading right now on my channel. We're talking about Alan. Oh. Never we mind. know you have a channel. I didn't know Sick. who you are talking about. <laughs> yeah, he only has... No, he doesn't have any videos. He doesn't have any videos yet. Well, tomorrow he will, because tomorrow Alan and I are collabing, and we are doing gadget time. If you want to move just little parts of that, you can use the airbrush after you oh. heat it. After you heat it, though, because it makes it more fluid and it moves better. Take one glove off. Yeah. Yeah. I'm better with my right hand on this. It's not always about you, Nate. <laughs> Sorry, Jen. I'll try to make it. Oh, it is me. this week, Jen. <laughs> yes, this week is about me. It is. I already told everybody that um, I can't answer the phone. I'm not taking any phone calls because Nate is here. <laughs> everybody wants to know what my channel name is. Well, right now he has it as Alan Welch, but you're going to change it, right? What were you changing it to? Fifty shades, 50 of, shades of paint. paint. Oh, or 50, paint of paint. Fifty yes. shades of paint. And we thought about a T-shirt too. Pigment of our imagination. Pigment of your imagination. 
which we also talked about naming the group that on Facebook. We're going to start a Facebook group. We just got to decide on a name. I know, Kathy, because I can't find it when I search it either on my um, I either. iPad. I can only find it when I search it on my desktop because I already subscribed to it. Oh, but uh, I can find you. And now I can text everybody and join right. under my group name. Yep. Or under my name. Sorry if I'm blending these. Yeah, it'll still say, stay the same, Val. He'll just change his name. Paraj Posse is probably going to be our group name. I really like that. Because I really like that. Because we talked about CWA crew, but then I was like, well. Posse just sounds fun. Yeah. Kelly says it should be 50 Shades of Alan Welch. Uh, I've heard some people tell me I should. How about Alan Welch is shady? <laughs> Okay, Leary and Loretta. <laughs> Jen says, I can, only, I, mean, I can only use 50 bottles off the wall. He can um, use whatever he wants, but he's going to learn. First of all, he's going to learn how to mix paint. He's going to learn how to clean paintings. He's going to learn how to varnish paintings because once he gets his own channel, he has to do his own work. What? No leaf blowers. <laughs> Uh, I tell you that one of the canvases that we saw today could have used one. Oh gosh, that thing was huge. It was like five by six. Five five feet by six feet. It was huge. Yeah, it was as tall Nate as me. wanted it. <laughs> I was gonna try to find a way to shove it in my my suitcase. And such a such a deal. Now there was one problem with it. It didn't have a really good base to it. Oh yeah, the backing. Yeah. The yeah. backing. They were they were cheaply made, I'm not gonna lie. That's probably why they were so cheap, because that one was $33. $33. Yeah. Originally $139. I thought it was more than that. No, $139. Glad you could get uh, join us, Gary. I'm trying to grab that black. I should have saved some white. Huh? There's some Pull white over. There. I've got swipey paper. Oh yeah, swipey paper. We should use swipey paper. Yeah. Because you could swipe some white over. Catherine wants to know how was the art gathering show and event? It was so good. Nate has videos on his channel. He did some lives today and did a walkthrough of the show. Check those out on his channel. It's like kids at Christmas. Um, no, it won't, Kendra. Resin is resin. It still has the same cure time. The only time it might uh, cure faster is if you overheat it. So you want to be really careful when you're heating up your resin. Are you okay, Catherine? She said she was in the hospital and Nurse Ratchet wouldn't let her use her, her phone. Aww. Beth wants to know, do you have any jewelry? I mold? do. Yep, I do. No next. I like it. I would try to blend that black. Yeah. 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 I was just looking at that too. Because if you push color over it, you may get more cells when you heat it up. So we're going to heat it one more time yet. Final heat down. I really love that mossy green in there. This is beautiful right here. These two greens blending. Actually, there's three greens in there, right? There's... No, just two. Two. And then you did the gold, though, so it made a whole little yeah. bit of different color there. Trying to make some room. It's not... 
is it's not like pain, is it? It's totally different than pain. Well, like they always say, it just keeps moving. Right. So you're like, yeah, I did this, and now it's all the way over here. <laughs> I, I feel like I should do like one more, maybe a little bit more green or blue. Green. Where? Here. Oh, down. Oh, I thought maybe we were doing it down the black. Oh, I can, yeah. Lady Jen says she looked at Listen. Michael's today for an airbrush, 119, just for the pen part. Just go to my Amazon shop. Follow the link below. They're $49.96. You get the compressor and everything. Okay, Marie wants to know, did you find that yellow pigment from Soho? Yes, they do not need... Well, I wouldn't say they don't need as much PVA. They don't. They need extra flow draw. <laughs> That's where your opacities come into play. They're much heavier. The whites, the blacks, the um, ochres like that, that takes so much pigment to make that color. I like it right where it's at. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Don't touch it. I, can you feather that out just a tiny bit on those little pieces? Say I got yeah. this one. I really pressed on those. So. <laughs> well, turn the canvas around and bring it towards you because then it feathers easier. Because when you're pushing it that way, you're kind of puddling it out. And this way, you're pulling it over. That's why I turn my flip and drags when I airbrush them. That way, you have the same amount of pressure. pressure. You just learning stuff, aren't you? <laughs> I don't know what that word means. Learning. Learning. I learned ya. I learned ya. Mm hmm Carrie says, Nate, do that on the other side. Catherine said she's fine, not even a bruise. That's good, Catherine. There it goes. That looks good. Yeah, it's that pressure from before. Uh-huh. Should I add a dot of blue right there just to kind of or should I leave it? I like it. My chick saying, leave it. Leave it. Yep. I'm trying to break up those little surf, like those, what are they called? Like the little loops. Yeah, the bubble. I call them the bubble, bubble loops. Because it's not like paint where it's just going to feather out into. Although it did do that there, which, and you got a little cell in there. <laughs> Heat it up. Let's see if you get some cells in that now. That might all sell out. You mixed it in with the white. I wish I had someone to sit here and hand me the wheat gum and stuff. <laughs> I gotta take a glove off. And... See if you got a subscriber because Kathy said she just subscribed to your channel. She hopes it is. <laughs> if it has a picture of him by paint bottles, it's definitely him. Because I did take a nice picture of him for his channel. Thanks, Thank you. So, who subscribed to you besides me? Nate. Nate, okay. No. So, Kathy, I think you might have got the wrong one. <laughs> what do you want to do with these? Oh, well, let me take your, let me go get a tray and you can put your painting on the tray. You want to give them a close up, Nate? Yeah. So, if I can bring this up so it doesn't pulsate. Yes, it's shiny. It's shiny and sparkly. It's pretty pretty. Can this come forward this will bit? go right in the 
Munrack. Um, got some fuzzies. Let me pick. Where's your um okay. tweezies? What do you want for that? You want some tiles? Make some tiles. Yeah. Okay. There's tiles right there. Eleanor replenished. So I can do this. We'll, we'll put the link up tomorrow, guys. Once we uh, once we get a video recorded. Um, yeah, I gotta get a video on there. The torch. Yeah. Thank you. Kitty says she just got back. Is this Nate, still Nate's first painting? Spelling Kathy is A L L E N. Got the other torch? No, he did. He got him so quick. Just real quick. Hello, Natalie. You can show this tomorrow. It'll be cured tomorrow. Yeah. Tomorrow night. Well, it takes about 16 hours before you can touch it. Do you want me to put this in there too? Which one? The oh, yes, please. Gary says, that was terrific, Nate. Time for bed. Good night. Night. Thank you. Let me use some of this as a base. <laughs> Do you want to make a coaster to me? A rubber or a silicone mold one? You got enough left? Yeah, that's so bad. I have enough of these colors, but I just put, I don't know if I have enough for the. Um, one of these? I was just trying to use some I don't of this. Think you have enough for one of these. Oh, you might with the black. Oh, oh, I see what you're doing. No, you won't have enough. But you might have enough to make a couple of pendants. Oh, yeah. I can make pendants. So we got all these jewelry molds. We have lots of them. Which, if you're going to be doing a lot of resin work, I recommend stocking up on different silicone molds for stuff. Because it helps reduce the waste. Right. Resin is like gold. When you think about how much you pay for it, you don't want to waste any of it. Including, like, see how he's scraping it off the pad? That's fine because that's his base. I'm going to throw stuff, stuff on top. On yeah. Which I really like that gray tone that's coming through. <laughs> All right. Uh, yeah, you might want to pick them both up, hon, because they're going to probably start to cure on the pad. Because it's thick. Mm. To put it on. Oh, did you put white on that one? Yeah. Oh, okay. Oh, can you hand me the. Can you heat up that? Sure. I sure can. Her hands are clean. I want to move it a little bit. Just yeah. I don't want to heat it up. I'll add more. I'll grab these. I'll get this audio away. Just try to get a base. All right, I'm going to try to do this quickly, guys. So <laughs> I know. It's like, Nate, you're taking forever. She's like a really chill, mellow mood. I never knew that, Kendra. What's up? She has MS. Oh. Well, I completely understand. Um... Sancho has MS, has had it for five, four, five, five years now. So it's been, it's been a adventure with that. We should do an orange painting for her, because that's the the color for the ribbon. 
Lady Jim. She would take any color painting from us. <laughs> Lady Jim wants to know, uh, stone coat base, the only way to get cells in resin? Um, black underneath the color and pushing white overneath, over top of color with the heat gun. Um, sometimes you might get lucky if you do like a layered cup or I wouldn't say so much a dirty pour, but layering the colors like I do, you know, on the side of the cup and pouring them out. Especially if, if you have white and black in that cup, you will get cells when you heat it up. No, that's not the one, Kath. Alan, go to your, can you go to your channel and copy the link, the link in? I need to make you a moderator, don't I? You did. I did? Yeah. How come I don't see you on the screen being a moderator? You would think by now he would be in his channel moderating everything. Really? Putting putting Allie in timeout every two minutes. No, I can't do that. You can't do that to Allie. Allie bought one of my paintings. Allie bought one of mine. I'll still put her in timeout. It's only because I love her. Oh. You guys are making paint babies. I mean, come on. Allie she's and I my are friends. She's my gremlin mama. We don't have babies. We have gremlins. Didn't you know that? There, you see? You made me a moderator. Oh, you're here. Uh-oh, Alan's here, guys. Behave. <laughs> he has too much power now. All right, let's see if I can get my, like... I'm hoping to get, like, a little bit of, like, a gold marbling below this. <laughs> you should be girl. Oh, I got six subscribers now. They found you. Oh, they found I'm up to nine. Ta-da. Okay, we're going for a thousand here, guys. <laughs> <laughs> chop, chop. Share his link. Get him to a thousand by tomorrow. And go. You didn't even put your link in yet. I haven't. They found me. It's because you, you commented and then I, they follow your name. I've been, I've been discovered. Somebody put his link in. Let's see if he can get 15 subscribers. <laughs> I remember when I had nine. And that was a year ago. We've come a long, long way in a year. I'm surprised they got, like, I'm growing as quickly as I am. Yeah, you've been gaining really well since you've been here. Maybe you should stay till you hit 1,000. <laughs> and then I'll let you go home. Then you'll let me... <laughs> There, what you guys, there. what you guys can't see is the shackle on oh, my just ankle. Just click on your name and go subscribe, silly. She what? won't tell you guys, but I'm shackled, actually. Yeah, you are shackled, aren't you? It's been child labor here. <laughs> just kidding. His cover photo is the sepia painting that he had to do for his Nate's hat challenge. That really pretty sepia tone that came out? Huh? The pretty sepia tone one? Yes. Sepia or sepia? Either or. Like, I've heard it pronounced differently depending on where I am in the world. So, I don't know. I don't know. Go to Google and type it in and see what she says. Well, thank you all for subscribing. Allie said, make me a new iPhone, Nate. Stat. Make her a new iPhone? Mm-hmm. I can possibly make it out of clay. Would that work? Now I gotta put something out there for them to. Uh... Yeah, you're gonna have to do a video. Well, we're doing his tomorrow, remember? I don't know. Well, he has to do one um, before him. It, yeah. You're up to 17 subscribers, Alan. Amanda says she could be number 17. 
If you guys want to subscribe to each other, you don't even have to put your links on. You just click on their name and it'll come up, go to their channel. Diane, you're, you have a different name for your channel now, though, right? Yeah, it's Expressions. Artistic Expressions, I think it is. Sepia. 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 I said it wrong. All right, I want to hit it with a heat gun and then the... Can you hit it with a heat gun? Sure. I lost sticky. Oh, wait, I, I can do this. And then... Aha, one more glove down. Bye, glove. I'm trying to move as quickly as the resin's letting me. It's like slowly seeping out of the cups. So Diane says she doesn't like that name either. She doesn't know what to call it. Just use Diane Gideon Hart. I just like to use my name. It's easier for people to find me. Because if someone, let's say you sell a painting and you sign the back of your painting as Diane Gideon, they're going to look you up and they're not going to find you. So keep your name in your title if you have a YouTube channel. Jennifer wants you to use a swipey paper. A swipey on, paper? On that white one, yeah. Can you grab the paper? Sure. You guys put a lot of pressure on you. You're up to 30 already. Now he's going to be Don't pass Nate. <laughs> I'm okay if he passes me. I'm not. <laughs> hmm. No worries, Alan. We're family. Kathy said that. I'll give you two me, okay? I'm all about artists supporting other artists, so I have no problems with anybody sharing a channel if you are a regular here. Um, I just don't like when new people come in and post their channel and then leave. Yeah, that's annoying. Yeah. Or people that just come in just to say, go follow me on Instagram and then mm -hmm. leave. <laughs> You're like, um, no. I have some targets I'm shooting for. What's your target? Jeannie needs some subscribers, that's for sure. Jeannie's doing some nice work out there. Yes, yeah, she's doing some beautiful paintings. It's a swipey, swipey paper time. Remember, we're going to take the white over the color. Yep, I was going to pull from this corner. Yep. Since it's... You're using the shiny side on? Yep. Ooh. Wait till you hit that with the heat gun. It's going to explode. Sellage. Not to be confused with salad. <laughs> Stupid joke. Um... His, his channel name is Alan Welch right now. He wants to change it, but he needs to leave his first name in there. I keep telling him that. My first name is in there. Well, I mean, when you change it. What's going on? You're very quiet. I don't know what anybody's saying. 
We all just didn't subscribe to my channel. Or <laughs> Carrie said she spends more time with us than her husband. Nah, Carrie. You're just doing what's natural, Carrie. You're just doing what's natural. You need to get him into the forest. He just posted, Kathy. He's a moderator, so he's blue. Yes, it's a subscription fest. Oh, that's pretty. I wish I could see the gold in here. Oh, Violetta got her painting. Yeah. I'm so happy she likes it. That was the one from the sponsor giveaway. Oh, the one she picked off of. Which mm -hmm. one did she pick off of your Etsy? I didn't, um, I didn't see it. It was a flip and drag. Allie, I didn't tell you this, but I already subscribed to your channel too. Should I airbrush that out a little bit more? Like around here? Hmm. Should I airbrush this one out a little bit more and run the green and blue? I want my hands. Maybe blend them a little bit more. I love that swipey one. Maybe you need more white huh? I see I'm all about softness and flip and drag look. <laughs> yeah, can you imagine if we had to buy each other Christmas gifts? Because we're family. <laughs> Imagine the family get together though. Oh wow, yeah, that'd be cool. Family reunion. We'd have to do it in the middle of the United States so everybody could come in. It's, what 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 part would you consider middle? Um how would we just go to the spas in Colorado? Yeah. The mountainy spas up in the natural hot springs. No? The no? answer is you're the Queen of the flip and drag. I try hard to be the queen of the flip and drag, even though I wasn't the person that came up with that. Anna Osborne did. And I used to watch her well, faithfully. She was the first one that you seen. She's that. the first one that I watched. But hers aren't hers weren't like mine down the middle. Hers were um if you go way back to the beginning of her channel and watch her videos, she had a lot of tilting and softness to her paintings and now she's being a little more bold um it's hard for me to watch her change because i was so used to how she was doing them but she still does beautiful work i'm determined to get that white in there i know you are <laughs> do you need more swipey paper do i want to swipe it out or yeah. brush it out swipe it I like the softness of that first. Can you cut one. that in half? In half, yep. Yeah. So you don't really need big pieces at all. Yeah. And just got back from vacation, didn't you? I'm sorry, Ann, what did you say? Didn't you say Anne just got back from vacation? She, yeah, she went to Israel. Still coming to rally next weekend? Alan, are you doing anything after this resin? Mm -hmm. What's up to you? I don't care. Okay, I'm done. I still have two gadgets that I haven't used yet. 
I gotta get extra on it. Do you wanna do them on the live or yeah. on a video? Yeah. No, I got I'm sure we can we can fit something into the schedule tonight. Oh, I gotta get a thingy under it. Hold on. Two little cups. I got these little thingies. I do love these. Yeah, I won on the Mega Millions last night, guys. Yeah, now he thinks he's special because he won $4. I won $4. Okay, so if you're doing coasters with resin, or if you're resining on coasters, I buy these cheap little things like at, what do we get, these alleys? Yeah. They are like, a, what, $1.50? Yep. So I just set my tiles on top of these. They're cookie cutters, biscuit cutters. Gorgeous, Nate. They're both gorgeous. You like them? Yes, and you can take them home with you because they'll be cured. Can I, can I have that one? Yeah. <laughs> you can have them both. I'll embellish one and then you'll always remember me. Oh, like I'm going to forget you. <laughs> <laughs> Unforgettable. Unforgettable. That's, That's what you are. I know that gold is really, really pretty. So that was a mix of the gold metallic and the gold dust, dust metallic. So it had that extra sparkle because we all like sparkle, don't we? Yes, we do. If it's not sparkling, we don't want it. Valerie says, YouTube keeps wiping my like comment away. My money order may have been caught up in the holiday weekend mail. I'm so sorry. Let me know, please. Her money order. Here's this. Oh, she's sending a money order. Yes. Don't worry about it, Bill. Jeannie got her oh hoo hoo markers. Yeah. Okay, so I'm taking them. I'm taking the alcohol and I'm wetting um, a paper towel. Clean your stick if you're using the silicone. Clean this immediately after you're done. Because it's a pain. It's a pain to like peel it off, even though it is silicone. Well, it beads up and you get a thousand. A little beads, yeah. And I mean a thousand. I'm not over-exaggerating it. It's a thousand micro beads everywhere. You should have been here awake <laughs> watching Nate count them. <laughs> I did. I counted So this is all clean and it's ready for its next, next use. This we will let dry and then, and then peel it out and then we wipe them out with alcohol. But these are only a buck. So if you're doing four paintings, just throw it away and buy a new one. Ladies and gentlemen, so They're is that gold clean. stone coat? Yes. We used all stone coat except for one oh, little Soho. bottle of Soho. So we added Soho, blue, green, um, phthalo. And the rest were all stone coat colors. Yes. It was the moss, the dark silver, and the black, and yeah, and the white. Maria wants to know, so the alcohol doesn't affect the silicone? No. No effect, Maria. And Kitty wants to know, can you tell her where you got the same bun rack you have, please? Uh, kitchen Restock. Is that kitchenrestock.com? Yes. The shipping's a little high, but the bun rack is wonderful. Yeah, Maria, you're right. We just bought a new one. <laughs> oh, yeah. We so haven't put has, it together yet. <laughs> we don't know where we're going to put it yet. We the, just bought a, a 20 shelfer. So we'll have a 20 and a 8, I think is the other one. 8 or 10. Yeah, I can't wait to play <laughs> with resins. You? Why? You know, what? Could you see you with resins? Uh, I don't think as I'm As messy gonna... as I am with paint? Yeah, and as slow as you are, it would probably heat up in the pot on you. But with... When we have leftovers like this, Alan, you are more than welcome to, like, play. Nate, look at the pile of moss green on the floor. I'll vacuum that up. Uh, Monica Strickland says they make silicone cups, and she has some. She says, should be cleaning them with alcohol now instead of waiting to peel it off. Thank you. Well, for peel it stuff. out, peel it out, and then clean it with alcohol to get all the little pieces. Because the next time you mix resin, 
you may have a couple little dried pieces in there and it's going to get in your resin. And when you go to, to do a clear coat, those little pieces are going to show up in your coating. And uh, Diane wants to know, where did you get your silver table? I got that off of Amazon. It was $124.99. Isn't that on your, on which I did not put that on my Amazon shop. I probably should. There was one on your, or what was I looking at? Maybe it wasn't. Um, Diane says the parage is impressive, by the way. Well, we're still not. We want to do a final tour, hopefully tomorrow. Uh, Terry wants some. Did you get the cover? I did get the cover. It was sixteen dollars. And it's important to get that cover. Yeah, you want to have the cover so no dust or bugs get in there. Especially if you're in. You the could forest. cover it with plastic, a plastic tablecloth, until you can get the cover. Let's see if I can add that. We'll, we'll have to let our narrator, Nate, do uh, the final tour of the porage. What do you think? Sure. When? What? Before you leave. Oh. Do, why? Because everyone wants to jazz hands? Well, <laughs> jazz hands and your soft, tranquil voice. And... Can I talk like this? Sure. <laughs> Make it extra tranquil for you guys. Maria wants to know, what does Nate have in his hand? I missed something. Oh, I'm just playing. I'm throwing some molds into, or some resin into, little jewelry molds and making a mess with it. Okay, I just um, added the stainless steel table to my Amazon shop. If you guys want to check it out. Now, I'm going to tell you one thing, though. You will have a few dents in it when you get it, so... I thought for the price, because otherwise you'd be paying $300 for one of these tables. But it was $124.99. We pounded out, what, one little dent? Two little dents? Two dents. With a rubber mallet, and it's fine. But for what you're going to use it for, it doesn't have to be perfect. I hate to spend a ton of money on stuff. If okay. I would have spent $300, I wouldn't have wanted any dents, that's for sure. Oh, that sold up. Carrie so wants to know, could you That's cover it with a shower curtain? You could, yep. As long as you can get everything covered, you'll be fine. You better quit grinding that jaw. And you better watch that doesn't burn your back. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> His ears are bothering him, aren't they? The, after that flight. So um, I was born deaf and I've had tubes in my ears when I was two years old and surgery when I was four and still had issues. And my entire life I've had chronic ear infections. So it's just something that the doctor said I'm going to have to deal with for the rest of my life. So my ears do, do bother me sometimes, especially after all that pressure. Mm hmm. It's also why I have a lisp. Catherine, check kitchen restock. You may find one on there. I really want that. I don't know how to pick it up. <laughs> Kathy says, oh, Nick, go to the store and buy one of those Vix inhalers and use it on the plane. Nick. <laughs> Nick's still here? Not Nick, but Nate. <laughs> I've been calling him Nick all week. That was funny. I thought you meant that intentionally. <laughs> I didn't say it. Oh, well. You went over the... Uh, oh, that's okay. I went over the what? Over the um, whole thing. Yeah. Uh, well, like we'll, I said... We'll drill it back. Up. I was doing this. I was trying to drip it off of a piece of paper. Oh, instead of a top because I'm special. I'm special. special like that. You are special. Now, if you're going to paint, you need a proper candle. Let me put the thing in. boy now. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody does their own work now. Yeah, mom got on us and she started yelling at us. She's making us work. <laughs> My diaper's on now. You've got moss green to clean up on the floor there. I do. Feller. <laughs> As soon as I tried to like close it, it just went. Poof. I need an apron. 
Oh, Catherine, I don't think they had one that tall. What tall? Um, seven feet tall. Canvas? Five feet from back to back. Mm. That is a big one. I don't think they have that. What? Where? What are we talking about? I didn't read it. I want to know um, things. The bun rack. It holds close to 70 racks. Wow. That's a lot of bacon. That's a lot of resin work. I want bacon now. But I see, the reason I bought the 20 shell for, my intention was to use it for paintings. So bacon that they would fries, have a nice cheese, place right? to dry. Make some bacon, no but I really want to start doing more resin work when I'm not painting. Throw a video up here and there, you know, like time lapse. Hi. <laughs> and maybe do one that I teach. But um, I'm not a resin artist by any means. But I figured if I'm having you guys look at the stone coat and showing you how it works, I, I have to use it to show you. So Right? Can't sell it if you don't use it. It's just false advertising. <laughs> <laughs> we can, but I really think that we should use it and show you that you can mix mm -hmm. acrylic paint in with it and you don't have to buy all those paste. But it's also really fun if you do an acrylic pour and you don't want to do like a full acrylic painting, you're just doing the resin topping. If mm -hmm. you add a little, make a little cup of one of the pigments and do a little like line down it or something. You can play with the pigments. Right, you can put just a pinch of like that gold dust in there and oh, give yeah. your painting a glistening coating too. Sorry about the banging, guys. He's prepping his canvas. It's like, wow, thank you, Darnell. You're so, so insightful. <laughs> They're now don't wake your husband tonight. Don't I worry. I have not done a geode, and let me tell you why. Which, which tool I don't want to sound this? catty or anything, but the geodes that I see on YouTube do not look like real geodes. They just, Nate and I look at geodes, and it's like these don't, even come close to a right. geode. So there's a few artists out there that I'm putting it backwards as I'm talking to her. There's a few artists out there that do the tables and everything else, and they literally take time and they layer it about seven times. Seven layers of resin is somewhere around there, and they, each layer has a different thing that they add to it, and so it builds up so the finished product looks just like a geode. Right. Like the crystals, they're not just coming up everywhere. If you look at a, a geode when it's sliced, all the crystals are facing inward in that circle that's generally in the open. And not you know, up. Not up. So these artists, that they, they lay them as they're putting it down, and they lay them certain ways, and they keep certain things open, and they just make it look like actual, legit geodes. Right. To me, I, I, I you guys are going to hate me for saying this, but most of the geodes out there that people are making look like something a three-year-old brought home from kindergarten. Oh, I, you're going to get spanked for that one. I am. <laughs> I just, I did. They, they do. They, they look. They don't look like art to me. They look very arts and craftsy out of elementary school. Right, and it's too symmetrical. Yeah, where a geode is not that symmetrical. So I'm, I don't know. I, that's, that's why I don't do geodes. That's why I stay away from them. I just don't like yeah. the look of them. You probably won't see me do a geode. That's for sure. You weren't ready for that. No, I have my resonate. Yeah, oh, Catherine doesn't sorry. like them either. But like, look up geode tables. There's a lot of resin artists out There's there that one make artists that she cuts her own boards and she shapes them so they look like a real geode. Yeah, and she, like I said, it takes it's her like months to make one. Because it's seven to eight layers, and each layer has, like I said, a different color and added, and a different thing that she painstakingly adds to it <laughs> to make it look real. Mm -hmm. And I don't have seven months to make a table. <laughs> <laughs> she changed her name. <laughs> Who's that? Dan Gideon? Teresa. Uh, Teresa. 
She changed it. She took the H I out. <laughs> Teresa. <Yeah. clears throat> yeah, there's a lot of people that aren't interested in the geos either. No, there are. There's just some things in nature you can't replicate. Or it takes a long, long time to, and people don't have the patience. See, you're saying what everybody's thinking. Yep. <laughs> Good for you, Nate. I don't like, well, it's not that I don't like three-year-olds' art. I think it's wonderful that three-year-olds are making art. But when all these older people are saying these three-year-old looking art <laughs> pieces is art, it's, yeah. oh. I can't. Well, and it. that's the bright blue eyes. That's why you love them, because they probably look real, and that's why they're so expensive. Oh, those tables? Yeah. Oh, right? Those tables are amazing. Oh, Nick's back. His power went out for a bit. We're all reading comments over here. Riza. Riza. Just... Alan's going to paint for y'all tonight. What? Who's, um, I can't remember who's. Oh, they name. wanted to see those, um, the color, color flash. Color yeah. flash. So, the, the color shift. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> color shift. Are completely dry. Let me see if I can't angle it so you guys can see. So if you watch this blue, the blue really shows up on the screen right now. And you see how it just, it picks up and it changes. It'll go from one color to another. See how the red is at the bottom there? And then he tips it and it looks purple. So it's going from purple to red to orange. And no matter how you look at it, it changes. But, oh, um, is that the, yeah, that, that's the aqua. Uh, I absolutely love the gorgeous. aqua. I want to resin that. I think that's going to be absolutely stunning when that's resin. Are you taking that home with you? No, it's sitting here with you. Okay. We're, oh. oh, that's right. We're going to throw those in the 50,000 subscriber giveaway. Yeah, these are going to the giveaway unless Christina You're keeps them. You're not going to stack them like that, are you? No, I'm moving them. My fingers are right in between. They're not stacked. I'm keeping them separate. I hate dunks. <laughs> I'm, keep, I'm keeping them separate. You guys want to see my first bottle bottom, how it's drying? I was excited you, about it. Did you upload that video? Yeah. Oh, the, the one I'm uploading right now? No, the that one. Yeah, this one's the one that's already Oh, that's uploaded. great. I watched it. Sorry. You were that sitting was, there. <laughs> that was our fast forward in the shop that morning, wasn't it? So this is still drying right here, but I use that green color shift all right here. So if you look at it, how it picks up and changes. Oh, no, that's the emerald. Where's the green? This is the green right here. Yeah, that's his and first that's bottle bottom. Isn't it gorgeous? That brass background, too. It's just beautiful. I feel Irish. Who wants yeah, to go to a pub? <laughs> let's go. Let's go to a pub and get some drinks. That bottle bottom was the hint bottle bottom because it had the seven petals. Yep, that's this guy right here. And the hint is a flavored water bottle from Target. Target and Walmart. Some of the WalMarts have it. Harris Teeter. Shelly, the bottle is hint you from a hint bottle. Show the banding wheel. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we did use a banding wheel for that. But he really didn't spin it, per se. So in the video, I sped it up, but. So it looked like you were spinning it. Yeah. I, I wasn't really spinning it that hard. Probably about this speed. Because I just wanted the. Um, 
trans, trans, I can't even say the word. Good night, Kathy. Something force. Centrifugal. That's Great it. Sin, sit, I can't. I'm, In person. Good night, Kathy. My lisp isn't going to let me say that word. What, <laughs> centrifugal? Yes. Just point just, at me when you want me to say just it. To have, <laughs> just the gravity to pull it out without right. having it splatter everywhere. Because you don't need to do it really fast. You mm -hmm. just have a nice... Slow motion and it'll pull out. Oh, I can imagine some things to do with that thing. <laughs> well, that banding wheel is a, it's a little on the expensive side, but it'll last forever. It is heavy forever. And it is yeah, solid. It's, it's about what seven pounds, maybe? It's yeah, seven pounds, and it's all metal. There is no plastic on that yeah. thing at all. I have two of them in my Amazon shop. That one is the 12 inch, and I think I have a seven inch one in there too. Just imagine playing a 33 RPM uh, record on a 78 speed for a record player. <laughs> is Shelly still here? Oh, wait, that was Shelly wants Oh, your ugly one? Yeah. That she said looked ugly so far. <laughs> it is completely dry. Oh, look at that. Look at that purple with the blue. Oh, yeah. I'm hoping it will pick up. That, that was the Artist Loft Cobalt Blue Hue as a base. And then he used the um, color shifts. Actually, that was when you picked up the runoff yeah. from another painting and placed it on there. It's hard to see, but this, this purple from the blue and the purple flash is its like glowing. It's electric on this side. And we'll probably resin that one, too. I love my ugly. <laughs> Did you guys have fun today? Maureen says she was she. Did we have fun today? Yeah. Oh, not at all. No. Shopping no. with Nate is just no fun. Oh, <laughs> I like to tell you about Christina. <laughs> we kind of went our separate ways. Because he was looking at more embellishing stuff, and I was looking at paint and canvas. Yeah. So the way this place was set up, there's a little area out front where they had um, tables. They had All more the of the brands. The brands embellishing. They had a lot more paint pens. Everything back here was and the, it, that was like the comp or the banquet room. Yeah. It was the registers were back here. There were some pens and brushes over here. But all of this was canvas and frames. This whole center area was canvas was and frames. Yeah. And then over here, they had little tables where you can ask them questions. They were doing demos, everything, all the way here. And then Christina got lost in the canvas, and I got lost in the paint pens. <laughs> Teresa wanted to see her painting. I know. Alan's like... I'm never gonna paint. I'm, I'm... Oops. That is your <laughs> painting, Teresa. No, don't put it back. So now, once I got your mailing address, I will wrap it, box it, and send you an invoice. She won that at the auction we had Thursday night. All right, now for Alan. Uh... Ba, ba, ba. Little jazz hands, a little Vanna White. Nate and his jazz hands. Oh, wouldn't that be great to do a convention, a painter's convention, and all go to that show together? They would never be prepared for us. No. <laughs> mm -hmm. We'd have to go first thing in the morning so that we know that it was restocked the night before. You ready? And jump in. Okay, Al. All you boop. Yeah, it's looking. Hey, Matt. They did restock um, Friday night, and they probably restock tonight, too, for tomorrow. That's probably why Nate and I really want to go back. 
I want more of that. Um, the the pens. The I want to get a few more uh, canvases. I love those long panels. You saw one that you you were amazed at the pricing of it. Yeah, the the prices just were. You know, because I think back what I paid when I ordered them online. Because Jerry's, when they run a sale online, it's so cool. If and if you're just joining us, there's a link right below the video. And a lot of the prices are very low on the products that we bought today. We got them a little bit cheaper, but um, they are running a sale just for the weekend. So you can grab your Soho and your Lucas Krill and your Creative Inspirations and your canvases and your birch boards so check it all out hit the sale button when you go to the website up on the right hand corner top of the page there's a red button that says on sale and you can click canvases or paint or whatever and just go in and check it out It just makes it nicer for y'all, you know, that you don't live here and you can't go and shop like we did today, but you're still getting some great deals. Oh, said grips, yeah. That works. Can I get it low? It's bending that cup a little. We'll just do it a little bit higher. I don't think it covers the face walls. I knew this sale was coming, so I tried not to buy too much, but I did order from Jerry's last week, and Alan's like, why are you buying when the show is next weekend? I said, because I don't know if it's going to be that like cheap at the show. Nice. You're small. It's a masking pen. Is it, what is it? A masking? Yeah, mask liquid masking pen. What's the brand name on that, Nate? Um, Moscow. Moscow. So I flip the canvas over and then flip it. So it's the stay in place. We're using the silicone. It'll look clean easy. It's fine. I just don't so care can, what you do. Just so we can use those. Ones. You don't care. He cleans all the stuff anyway. I so. do. <laughs> You so, can run that and put it is on Jen the, still the here? Oh, Jen, yeah. Because I have another one of her gadgets that she sent a couple weeks ago. Hopefully, it won't create a mass turmoil tonight like it did last night uh, with the other gadget. But um, hopefully, yes. oh, I, I just think that last night's show was absolutely hilarious. I went back and watched it this morning, and I watched it again this afternoon. And you guys, we were cracking up so bad. If you haven't watched our live from yesterday, even if you don't want to watch the beginning, fast forward to Alan's floor. <laughs> you don't have to apologize, Monica. You weren't the one that was coming up with oh. all those crazy comments. Now, let me give you a little tip on doing a live. Just pretend no one's there and you're talking to yourself because if you think about it, you'll be nervous. So just just go play. If you make a mistake, you make a mistake. That's Everybody right. knows you're, you're nobody's perfect. We're all human. Well, we even had a little mishap with, with our Alexa. Yeah. Don't say her name because then she'll say, I'm sorry, I don't know that one. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. Okay, I'm going to go with a base, a white base. You got enough? Yeah. You make sure that was the base and not the pouring white, right? Yes, the okay. pouring white is labeled pouring white. I know, white. I need to move that. How many more tiles do we need to do? About 50? Uh, about 55. Okay. I've got about half the I'll work on done. those tomorrow morning when I'm having my tea. What are we doing? Taping the backs off of the tiles. And then, and then cleaning then them. You, you don't have taped? to do that, Nate. Huh? You have them all taped? No. Oh. no. I got about. He doesn't have to clean them. If you could just mask them, I'll even trim them. I like to do it like one tape at the top, one at the bottom, then run one in the middle. So when I'm peeling them off with the resin, it comes up easier. I don't want to mess that up. 
Okay, I'm just telling you. Okay. I remember how I peeled it off because it came down the center. Yeah. And I like, and then I peeled the other two off. It's easier, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Where does that one's painting come last night? <laughs> we'll show you when he's done with this one what it looks like. I think I will forever have George Michael's. Character. We woke up her Alexa. Alexa, what time is it? <laughs> <laughs> it's eleven thirteen p.m. Oh my! Alexa, what time is bedtime? That depends on whether you're tired or have to get up early. <laughs> it is recommended for an adult to sleep seven to nine hours a night. Nate. What? <laughs> How do you get anything done in a day if you sleep seven to nine hours a night? What is Alexa's favorite song? Alexa, tell me a joke. Actually, my friend Jimmy Fallon wants to tell a joke. Let's give him a shot. I don't know if we what can do it. What did the horse say to the scarecrow? Hey. <laughs> so what do you think? Should I let Jimmy tell the jokes for a few weeks? No. No problem. I'll keep you laughing. But if you do want to hear one of his jokes... Just say, tell me a Jimmy Fallon joke. I can see it already. You've been demonetized because you've used Jimmy Fallon's name. No. We have three of these in our house. I have one out here in the studio. We have one in our bedroom and we have one in the living room. The other night. Yeah. Oh so God. Nate was out here the other night and he's trying to get this one to work. Well, the one in the living room, we have it set really loud because we listen to music in there. So that starts blaring. Of course, TJ's sleeping. <laughs> We're like yelling for it Poor to guy. stop. And the one in here is like completely silent. <laughs> completely silent. The one right, in, right in front of my face doesn't pick it up. Like three rooms over. And the one in there picks it up. Yeah, it was funny. <laughs> yeah, the one we have in the living room is in stereo. It's a really good one. But these little dots, we place them around the house. So if we can, need to ask it a question really quick, we can ask it a question. I lost the oh. third one. No, I need the. There was a third one. Well, what'd you do with it? He lost one of his molds there. Is that on the floor? No, I. Did it bounce? Because they're silicone, they'll bounce. I just wanted to listen to George Michael. What ones do you have? I'll get you another one. The other one was uh, oval. We're trying to set up the gadget right now. Um, where are those molds, Nate? There's three of the they're over there. Oh. But there it needs to be one of those tear shaped or oval because the round doesn't fit. It blocks too much of the it probably fell in one of Nate's bags. No. Oh. Can I move those? Sorry. No, that's Hello. fine, Nate. You're, Nate's you're stuff's fine. always laying all over the place. You're fine, Nate. <laughs> there it is right there. It fell in between. Oh. Never mind, Nate. So the placement of this is going to be a little tricky. Uh, my heat gun, I believe, is set in the middle. Let me just double check. The heat settings. Oh. Um, there are no numbers. Yeah, it's in the middle between low and high. And I use the high fan switch. Sorry about the bald head, guys. Okay, color selection.
it's funny because when we first got one, every Jake, my son Jake was like, they're spying on you. They hear everything you say. <laughs> I'm going to go with a darker palette on the white base. Denise, the heat gun warms the resin so it'll move, but it also does pop the bubbles, and the torch will pop the bubbles. I use a small torch. I don't use the big torch like Stone Coat does, but you can use the big torch and move that resin around as well. Ellie wants color flash. Shit. I don't Monica know. wants manganese blue. Shit. Got it. Ellie, it's shift. There's only one color that has flash in it, and that's black. Who, who wanted? She said silver. Very little silver left. She's gonna be in my Alexa, where do you keep the matchsticks? I'm here in my head is in the cloud. <laughs> what? Did she say up there in her head? Uh huh, in the cloud. Where her head looking? Teal, purple color shift. Teal. Gold, red, green, and gold. Oh, oh, oh. Where's the hooker green? Up in the, well, it was in the front here. I have no clue where you guys put it. Right in front by your hand? Oh, on the table, oh, honey. On the table. On the table. By the black face. Oh, yeah. He's got a hooker green. Well, Catherine says she had the original one with the internal battery. She had taken the others out and it still talked. Okay, that yep, that's what my son said, Carol. Same thing. What's that? That they spy on you. <laughs> yeah, what are they going to see? Yes. No, they listen Ma to your conversations. We don't spend much time in the house at all. I'm actually in the studio probably all day. Unless I'm taking care of DJ, I'm in the house. But I hang out out here. I have a TV and a heater. And <laughs> I'm always working. I work, what, 15 hours a day between TJ and sitting out here and doing paperwork. And oh, my goodness. Saturday and Sunday are my days off, so I get to play out here, but sometimes you just get wrapped into something out here and I don't get anything done. Wow, that's weird. What's that? It was big news about um, that picking up a couple's fight. And the other other people in other states in the network heard it. <laughs> I'm not worried about that, Sandra. <laughs> There's nothing going on in there. <laughs> hmm. I hear Alan snoring. That's about it. <laughs> oh, my gosh. I never heard about stuff like that. About what? It recorded a person talking and called the person's friend and let her listen. So the big question is, 
what is the color that I want in the center? Now this this gadget here is a sink strainer, which has holes that are now elevated over the canvas about a quarter of an inch. There are four holes in each of the three pods. So that color is going to fall out through the bottom. And as I put more paint in, the there's holes in the side of the strainer that the paints that I put in on the second, third, and fourth layers are going to fall out through the sides. Only if you go deep enough. If are I you go pouring deep enough. a whole cup in each one? or um, Otherwise, it's not going to come out those holes because they're up a little bit too high. But it, you know, like with the infuser, when we pour the paint in to try to get it past those. Right. Yeah. So you'd have to do cup pours in each one. Alan. Okay. So I should probably go with some. What do you think? Thank five you, ounce Elaine. cups. Five ounce cups, or. Um. Or should I go with a three ounce cup? I go bigger. Bigger than five. Yeah, because you want to get past that first hole. Elaine, the heat gun I use, I believe, is in my Amazon shop, and the link for that is below in the description. If you click on there, it'll take you to my shop. All the products that I use are in there, except for my Sovo paint. Actually, there is one small set of Sovos in there that I found on Amazon, but we buy all our paints and stuff from Jerry's. Most of our paints. Okay, so I'm going to be using Fine Touch Deep Violet. Yep, it definitely is a desk organizer because I have a green one just like it. And I told Alan, when you're done pouring through that, can I have that one too? <laughs> They're great for storing your stir sticks. <laughs> Artist Lofts Light Violet. Jen, where did you get that? Because I have not been able to find another one and I can't remember where I bought my green one. Deco Arts, very metallic. It's going to be a lot of paint. Well, go easy on your colors because you got way too much of each color already. Sorry. Go ahead. Thalo, turquoise. Are you rolling your eyes at me, Nate? Huh? Are you rolling your eyes at me? Just Soho, me. manganese blue. Do you want to see that? I'm going to have to leave the silver out because I don't have enough it's paint stressed. for the silver. Soho, hooker stressed. green. Are your ears popping? Yeah. I have rock side. And Soho, cadmium green blue. I think it's the humidity. Could be. Could be the elevation. You're a lot lower. We're lower, Alan. A lot lower. <laughs> what right. was the first color again? Uh, first color was Fine Touch Deep Violet. That's a Hobby Lobby paint. That's where I got it. CVS when we were in Olean. What? That green that dusk organizer. Because remember, I bought all the bottles too. The only holes that he would hit, Roxy, would be the bottom one. So if he puts it in the cup, he might be able to get it to come out through the faster, Alan. You're not gonna you're not gonna get through the top hole. That was why I said you had to layer the cups. Oh, it's not gonna work. You're not pouring fast enough. Yeah, baby. Long now, this is going to be the last one. Says so it's past his bedtime. Whose bedtime? Nate's. Oh, I just dripped a little. Did you spray that first? Nope. What 
put sit with you in green lately? Usually it's red. Uh, I know people don't like not? red. Not everybody likes red. Yeah, Val, start setting up. <laughs> we'll come at you as soon as we're done. Val, are you talking to yourself? Because, you know. <laughs> You're right. I should have I'm not layered a minute. The I should have layered. I should have listened. Sometimes you have to make mistakes <laughs> on your own. There's a lot of pain in that center. I'm glad you're only doing one so I won't get boobies. <laughs> now he's checking his phone. Now I'm uploading a video. Oh, you're uploading a video? I forgot to hit send, so it's uploading. <laughs> so it's been sitting idle? <laughs> well, I had to do that um, description and everything for it. Oh, that's right. And it's a long one because it had all your information in mine. Yeah. Um, use the bigger tweets. Where'd the big ones go? Right there on the table. They open wider so you can grab the whole thing. Do you want to put them in a wipe? So what time should it be up tomorrow? Why? TJ eats breakfast at 9.30. What time can we get him ready and in the car so we can get there? Who? Oh. <laughs> Nate wants to go back to the show oh tomorrow. Oh, my gosh, Nate. What? It's not like I'm going to be we have, able to do we have to like take TJ for... with us for sure. I will not be able to do anything like that for another year. Yeah, we won't be able to go do that for another year. This is my art shopping moment, so I have to take advantage of it because I'm going to use it all up in a year. There's a lot of paint in that center. So that means you got a lot of tilting to do. And you're going to end up with a lot of berry. I guess I have to come back and bug Mike. Maybe I can come up. Um, when you get your thousand, I'll definitely send them your information. Because remember what I said, you got to buy invite only. Yeah. But you have to use all your stuff. So, huh? Are we getting the disco ball? Those are really pretty colors. I like that green with that. I am not a fan of green. What? So you hate my bottle water? No, I mean with, with that pink, with the berry, I'm not a fan of that at all. But he manages to make things work. I like it. When he stretches. I don't like, it's vibrant. Make that berry is making that green and the yellow. It's gonna be like pop rocks in here in a minute. Because it's the opposite of green. Purple, um, purple is yellow. I like like shades of green, like aquas and te uh, teals and turquoises and. So blue green. Anything with blue gems. <laughs> we all know Christina loves her blue. I love my blues. 
Blues, blues. I'm trying to use more purples and. Blue is a pretty color, though. There's so many shades of blue. It's a very simple color. Yeah. We're buffering now. I'm sorry. Buttering bread? What? Buffering. <laughs> Mother buffer. Butter, butter. I want the butter. Try refreshing, guys. Right now, I think it's about the time that YouTube does uh, some maintenance, too. They shouldn't, though, because they got to think about the West Coast. They don't. <clears throat> they don't care about the West Coast. Yeah, that's anything like I thought it was going to. Be quiet. Now that looks better because you're getting some of that pink out of it. Can you go to the white corner? To this white corner? No, no, the other side. Down here? Yeah. You gotta have a river just, of berry. Just a little bit. <laughs> I'm refreshed as. What's Allie up to now? They're all refreshing because we're buffering. Somebody's buttering bread. Some polishing something. Can you get rid of that other little white corner? Are you going to try that? Back to your middle. Oh. Go too far. Oh, you didn't get it, did you? <laughs> get what? The, uh, the white corner. He's working it. Don't lose your blue. Bedtime comes when you have the last thing you've done for satisfaction. Yeah, I really think Alan is faster than Nate, isn't he? Oh, that look and the duck lips on top of it all. No pouting. Burn. No pouting in the porage. Burn. Nate likes to think about what he's going to do next. I think that's why he is. Is that why you do time lapses all the time? Because you have to step away and think about it? No. I do time lapses all the time because my life is full of distractions at home. That's true. It's all them pupper dogs. Um, I need to fill the torch because it's empty. Oh, there's resin on it. Oh, that happened. I, I didn't touch the torch. You're the one that touched the torch. Well, how did it get resin on? How did that happen? I had gloves on. Remember you, you said it was out of you said it was out of butane. You took it. Yeah, but I had I took my gloves off. I haven't touched it. I know I'm not blaming you. I'm just wondering why it's sticky. 
Maybe I did do it. We all wonder why things get sticky. Don't go there, Nick. <laughs> I'm just saying. I can't say that's what she said because it's not particularly true. There you go. Oops. Okay. I'll build. This is this good Don't me. fall, Alan. <laughs> Maybe we need to get a different stool for over there. Where the seat swivels, but the stool doesn't move. I want to see that movie Love Sun. Virginia, when we get done here, when we are almost done, you can go back and rewatch. Um, there are Jerry's goodies that we got at the show today at Art in the Carolinas. And we. Um, show you what we got and how much it costs and put a, we have a link below for Jerry's Artorama online where you can get some great prices on stuff because they're running a weekend sale. Some really great deals. This is, um, Teresa, this is Alan. This is my husband. So there's three of us out here. Nate, um, did the resin painting and Alan's doing this one. I didn't feel like painting tonight. I wasn't in the mood. She had shopping on the brain. I had shopping on the brain. Yeah. I feel like, like I let Jen down. Why? Because you didn't use her toy? Because I didn't use her toy correctly. I spot her. Yeah, I'm gonna move this one back. Oh. Sometimes you make mistakes and you have to learn from them. And I will give that definitely another try because I have uh, I have a better idea of what I did wrong. But we will see how this dries. Did you show me? Yeah. Go ahead. And here is his painting from Last night, the heads are gone. It's not so bad today. <laughs> it's still drying, but it's nice and dark on the edges. And I love that purple lake anyway. So it's not so bad. You got to play with some skins out? <sighs> I don't know. They said that came out nice. Try it again. Now oh, you guys are just being nice. You can tell me when it, I. Maybe it's just me. I can take I can take criticism too. He was a riot last night. Well, Ooh. he he was the brunt of the jokes last night. <laughs> I was the brunt of the jokes. Yes. We all, my painting. Well, my... your painting was. But you poured it, so. <laughs> oh. Yes, Allie. I'm not very good at tiles. I can tell you that right now. You have to start a one and then completely drag it. I out. know. I Nate know. Could show them. Christina, go show him now. It's your technique. Because he's picking up the white. Just now tip it, Alan. Just let it run up. Oh, yeah. yeah. Me too. Did you add that? No. That little bit of blue? Oh. Yeah. I, need, yeah. I need some cups. He needs cups. We got cups. Cups. On the bench. On the bench. By the alcohol. Oh, here, huh? Oh. Four. Nate is plotting something. Nate, what are you plotting? I'm plotting. Something. Oh, because you're so quiet. Actually, he's uploading a video that he did this morning. 
Well, we've been working on it since Thursday. Jennifer said, Alan, I have another one of those. I think I might expand the holes in the bottom for better flow. She'll have to try no. it. Uh, Tina, I, hit, I think you hit the nail on the head. Is you got to do it with maybe a dirty pour in each hole. A dirty pour in each hole. Yeah. So and you can a, get a up to that first line. So you don't end up with that puddle in the middle like you did with the berry. There is. Do a dip, Alan. What? Do a dip. Do a dip. Yeah. Uh, Nate will show you uh, how to do one. Way. You can do a bunch. I'm not even wearing glove. That's okay. Okay. And then go from the corner to corner. And then come up really right cool. here. Right here. Push down, good out. It's plenty, plenty, uh, plenty of paint, but. And then you have to tap your side. Yeah. Ahead. Leave it, leave it, leave it, leave it. Where's the torch? Use your finger, Alan, and touch your sides. <coughs> Nate, don't go there. I didn't say anything. <laughs> <laughs> it's not the witching hour yet. Nate will, does not want to go until he has every art supply he needs to go back home. <laughs> you know, tomorrow morning when I'm... <laughs> you know, that's that very... <laughs> that is a really pretty pile. Yeah, it's pretty, but you didn't get the edges. See on that side? Oh, you. We need to touch up those other black ones too. No, no, I'm just give you black on them. Oh, that's right, because you're going to embellish those, aren't you? Yeah. Be careful, I just filled that. It may backfire. I blew out so many tor torches already. By doing what? Because I have them set on high, and sometimes they backfire, and it blows it out, blows out the starter. Huh. I always thought it was the resin, but it was the heat. How do you set it on high? Yeah, you got, they're getting discos and buffering. How many more are you going to do, Al? One more? One more. One more, and then we're going to call it a night. Did you burn out my torch? No. <laughs> I turned the thing down, and it was, I turned it all the way down by accident. So it wasn't lighting. Yep, he's on his last tile, and then we're going to call it a night. We're going to go watch Val. Can I use one? So we will be back on tomorrow. I'm not sure what time. Uh, maybe I'll just post a quick video to let you guys know what time. And Nate can do the same. I have a video uploading. It should be yep. uploaded. Check out Nate's channel. He's got a video popping up here pretty soon. It is, was, it, is it done? It's a collab between me. Yeah. It's a collab that um, I did the first part. He did the second part. Like I said, it's going to take a hot minute. That's what I was hoping to get. Yeah, it, it probably won't be till a little bit later. So, so check it out in the morning. <laughs> yeah, check it out in the morning. Thank you so all. So we're all going to head over to Val's and watch Val's live. And um, we mm -hmm. will see you all tomorrow. You want to do one? Thanks. Good night.